It was recording the videos. Now, because some people are still in the queue for food or breakfast, as it were, I will ask the technical team to get ready to give us the recorded messages, video recorded messages. And uh, we are going to start with a message from Anne Bunyenyezi, which will be followed by another one recorded from Mire Luburwa. But for now, it's Anne Bunyenyezi, then we shall tell you as we progress. Thank you very much. <sighs> Hello everyone, I'm Tamba. But I'm going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to tell you how to do it. But I'm so sorry about the passing of June Nagenda. June was, a, was an incredible woman. I, I can't even put it in a few words what she did for me. June was there when we came with, for, to bring water, in the, to look for water source in the village. And I'm glad that the water is about to be realized very soon. And uh, she, she hosted us. She hosted uh, uh, four members of our, of our delegation, three young women from, in, from uh, University of Pennsylvania and myself. She would make breakfast for us. I even posted pictures on Facebook. She was really there for everyone. June was a servant to all. June was really a servant to all. She took care of Uncle Stephen. Uncle Stephen Guma Ojakwa Burundi. Namtamba is still there for you. The Nagendas were there for, for all of us. And we will be there for you too, Stephen. Don't worry. Namutebi, Namfuka, William, Nabala Siva Jukira. Anti June, a Birundi, Bia called it de Avantu, Nadala Bomuch Focha Free, Echenam Tamba, Nayanga Vindi, Oksinga, Oqua Oksinga, Oqua Gala, No Cubeda Wok, No Cubeda Ocubolimontu. The Kuangi, Emaka Janga, Jom Kubuka, Nafnom Kiso Cubeda, and Anti June. Ganda vidida vana ve kali na funa ukubanti tuwa vanga bumu ati na vanga mkwano kwa ange yanda kwa mkwano mungi ati la nevisela bimba denzi je Uganda nga yela tunyumia ngaba abata 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 ababela fena mchisela chona Ya ya kala nyo mama wange Joyce na mudule Ate chuna cho chansi chansi chia yonge ranze kumoti magwangu kumuwa agala Nze kurange anti Joni Abate cha kula virako Engiri Joyce sa mubuli muntu Kuba buli muntu ya mutu alanga nguwe chitibwa Ate nga buli muntu Avela una muguliza Ate na muuliriza ne sanyo ili nje nyo. So kwa gala kwe kubate kwa anja uro. Ate ilanga atulese nga tuino kumujigila kubi nje nyo. Na dala eti cho kwa gala. No kuiso avuli mtu uro nji. Haba family mwena chitalo nyo. Na yenga tuwebaza urubulamu. Uwa anti joni. Ingeri ja ja. Ya butambu za nukula kwa kwa gala. Nzi kuruwa ngendu uze za anti anti june. Katonda ya mutonda na kwa gala. Kale. Mubele kuruwanji. Nzi mire. 
Thank you very much. And uh, the speeches, recorded speeches continue. Now we have uh, Moses Wilson and uh, to be followed by Mrs. William Nagenda. My wife, Denny, and our two sons, Noah and Aaron, and I would like to extend our deepest condolences to Uncle Stephen, Nanpi, William, Namutebi, and the entire Naganda family, and dedicate this poem titled The Broken Chain by Ron Tranmer to the memory of our beloved Auntie June. We did not know the day that God was going to call your name. In life, we loved you dearly. In death, we do the same. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you didn't go alone. For part of us went with you the day God called you home. You left us peaceful memories. Your love is still our guide. And though we cannot see you, you're always at our side. Our family chain is broken and nothing seems the same. But as God calls us one by one, the chain will link again. My family and I have many fond memories of Auntie June. She hosted us very graciously many times at Namutamba and came to Kampala to personally console us when we lost my mother Mary and brothers Edward and Philip. Auntie June, the Lord bless you and keep you. May he show his face to you and have mercy. May he turn his countenance to you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Jojo June, we love you very much and we pray for you every single day. And we hope and we miss you. And Judge Stephen, we hope that you find strength with everything that happened and we love you very much. Judge June, we, we, we miss you very much and we love you and we hope you feel better in heaven. We pray for you every day. Judge Stephen, Judge Stephen, we also hope you have strength and we miss and we hope you are really feeling good. And um, Judges June, we are very um, blessed to have had in our lives. We are happy that you are resting well and um, we hope to um, we hope to um, We hope that uh, you're just even you, you can have enough strength uh, to deal with what, what is going on right now. Tukusabira, obere nobugumu, and tukwebaza buzimu chotu korira. No, ila tuku 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 Thank you for the love and the care that you guys give us. Um, Hi everyone. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there with you, but I'm glad that God could make it. Um, on June and God had a special relationship. She was always so kind to him, treated him like a son of her own. And I always appreciated that. Aunt June was a doting mother, doting wife, grandmother, aunt. She reminded me a lot of my own mother and she will be missed so much. Um, she always took care of me when I went to Namtamba. Always, you know, so lovely, so nice and just a woman of God and a woman of strength. And we learned so much from her and who she was. Um, some favorite memories would be her African tea. She made the best African tea, none better. Um, and 
I love the fact that she enjoyed the bench that we got her. I feel like it's the only time she ever took a rest. So um, I'm glad that Gad was able to do that for her and that she was able to enjoy it. So I'm praying for you guys. Um, it's a difficult time, but just um, know that you will be strong. You're just like your, your mother and you know, you will get through this. So love to you all and looking forward to seeing you again soon and praying for you. I don't know if I said that, but praying for you. Okay. We are grateful for those uh, encouraging messages. Quite uh, strengthening. Um, Kakati tugenda kuzza ko kagwa family zili speeches ngasa tu za bakagwa zesigenda kudakati Steven nagenda nabana genda mwana bana fe kitalo nyo 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 Ejofa kwa mama joni. Kita rundala. Tetumani kitu yinza kugira okuja ko. Okwebuza. Njiruwachi. Chatu sewo. Ate nga tusura kubira na mwe. Nisira chine jizibu. Na mfuka. Chanjo. Na mte. Bana wa fe kitaru nyo. Nyo no okuvivu wako mama. Kitaru jala. Neheka tusabe. Mukama awagumie. Kajia kubagumia. Kumuna wa maesiga. Emiaka, njetu manji ganyi okuwa mjini saamfu. Yatuwa mwama joni, nasunye kanyo, netuvera na ye, netusura fena, netutambula maanga fena. Yusanyo kanyo. Esanyo hili tigigenda kutubwa kubana wafi. Jitaru ndara. Jitu nina chokokola kwe kusama mkama. Mama juni ya mwe mire mpe mkigi. Mwurugendo kwe. Ela na mjage. Mjage ndo kwe ele la ndara. Mnyomba ye. Ela luli walumuna fe. Tuginda kumusanga yo. Tuwe ele fena. Katusabi mkama, mwa mwezi mirembi, mwicho na chona na chona cha asura, mkifechi jaraze. Cha kusari duwa nisa tujia kubira u, mkumuteka unyumba ye inkumirende, na ye, tusaba mkama, mkume, mwe mirembi, anange, mwere u. My beloved Uncle Stephen, my beloved Nancy, my beloved William, and my beloved Namtebi, it breaks my heart thoroughly that I cannot be with you today, but I've written down what I wanted to share with you because trying to speak verbatim has left me with so much fumbling, and I just thought it best that I gather my thoughts properly and put them on paper. So allow me to share these words with you today. As you all gather today to celebrate the life of my beloved, my beloved Auntie June, I am unable to be with you all. However, I am thankful for all of you coming together today and would like to share these thoughts with you. What I will always remember about Auntie June is her guidance and her love, her wise and inspirational spirit that watches from above right now. Although Auntie June is out of our sight, she's not out of our hearts. We may not be able to see her face, but we will always remember her genuine smile. 
the many lessons that she imparted on us of how to be proud of who we are and to stand up for what we believe with all of our might. With all of her greatness, Auntie June will forever be missed for her giving personality, her charisma, her kindness for others, and her immense, immense generosity, and most of all, her heart, infinitely bigger than life itself. Auntie June always gave all that she had each and every day to each and every one of us, whether near or whether far. And our lives have been forever hollowed without her physical presence. When I feel her absence around me, I simply close my eyes and remember the love that she shared. Your space in my heart fills up and I can be happy today and tomorrow because of the yesterdays that we shared together. I cherish your memory and let it live on because I know what you would want for us all. You'd want for us all to smile and be thankful and to love with all our hearts. To kwagala nyo 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 Auntie June Wafe. Special poem to Uncle, Uncle Stephen. My words for you are plenty, but I will use another's to capture what I want to say to you today. This is my wish for you, Uncle Stephen. Comfort on difficult days, smiles when sadness intrudes, rainbows to follow the clouds, laughter to kiss your lips, sunsets to warm your heart, hugs when spirits sang. Banange, Auntie June. Thank you for being such a wonderful mother to me. Thank you for your kindness. And the many lessons that you taught me that to this day impact me in ways that are very nuanced but very clear. It takes a village to raise a child. You are part of my village. I think about Nam um, Kololo. I think about Namtamba, I think about Maseru, and you were always in my orbit for many years, and uh, without a shadow of a doubt, you impacted me and allowed me to become the man that I've become. I'm hoping to share these things with my kids and any other people that I might come across. You are a star in my space. You will always be a star in my space. I feel like I've lost a second mom. I'm going to miss you dearly. Uncle Stephen, Nancy, Namtevi, and William. Uh, you're in my thoughts. Um, your strength shall see you through this and at some point I will rejoice with those that have gone before me to include my dear beloved Auntie June I will miss your cooking <laughs> it was always always on point well, um, thank you very much, Gasuza. Kakati, like I said, certain things will have to move on <coughs> concurrently. So we are pausing these speeches for a few minutes, maybe one or two, so that we transfer the body of our dear June to the taint, then we shall resume the speeches, the recorded speeches. A plus.
to serve Jehovah faithfully. We find the bonds of love are strengthened. Fine words bring peace and unity. The love we find among God's people gives each the courage to endure. Our congregation is a refuge, a place where we can feel secure. kakati tugenda okweyongerayo ne messages is recorded nokubajukiza nti munkola ya fear Jehovah witness tetuteka tetuganzi kabimuli kusanduko na ye boba walese chimulicho kubanga bitu yambo okutuza mu amanyi ne subi kakasanga aba a plus bawandi serinyalyo kuba tujja kubasoma nti mwale se bimuli naye tujja bagamba kubiganzika ku sanduko kakati tugenda kuzza ko family ya ba uh, Steven Lubogo na zozi speeches ngasatu then tujja kusembya yo ya Natasha Fox ne katika sokeza ba rubogo go judge judge you know we miss you and we hope that you are resting and enjoying yourself up in heaven where we where was 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 some of us will meet we'll see you up there and 
I miss you and I love you and I know that you're proud of us of all the kids' accomplishments and we appreciate you and we love you and we had so much fun with you when we visited I'm so glad I got to know you and meet you and I love you and um, you've made me glad. Amen. Thank you. I love you. Yay! I'm so glad that I got to meet you over the last summer. I enjoyed our little photo shoots that you'd make me take and how you were very, very much a drama queen, but I loved it. And I'm so glad that we got to make so many memories. And Judge Stephen, we're all thinking of you and hope that you will find strength and we love you. Judge Stephen, more than 90,000 million of Jamama and June. You're not enough to remove, to remove shock. Now he, knowing Judge June, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad, yeah, yeah. He's made me glad, oh, he's made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Dear Judge Stephen, we we love you and we miss you and we hope that you're finding strength and peace and happiness through this difficult time and we miss we miss you and we love you and we hope to see you soon. I had so much fun with you and California eating dinner with you and delicious food and have a delicious day. I love you. I'm so happy I got to meet you. I so glad I've heard so much about you and we can't wait to see you hopefully soon and Oh, maybe visit Auntie Jaja June and and uh, and the free, and the um, grave, and we hope to see you soon. And yeah, I did it. Now the last of our recorded uh, video messages. Uh, we are going to listen to Natasha Fox. He's actually a niece to the late. So let's get the message, please. The quality I admired the most in my dearest Auntie June was her steadfast love for Jehovah. Her faith and zeal in sharing Bible truth was so admirable. I will always be grateful to Jehovah and her for the seeds of truth planted in my heart as a little girl. Auntie had so many wonderful qualities. I loved her sense of humor, her humility. I remember Auntie for seeing the good in people and she always sought to encourage. At times when I was low, out of the blue, I would receive a call from Auntie and the conversations with her were always so refreshing and upbuilding. She certainly is a gift from Jehovah. It's painful to acknowledge that she's no longer here, but what gives me the most comfort is because she loved Jehovah so much, she's very, very precious to him. Jehovah does not forget his loyal ones, 
and it won't be long before she hears Jesus' voice asking her to rise in the resurrection. Auntie will be sorely missed, but Jehovah's promise is sure to have success. And when that time comes, I look forward to welcoming her back. Thank you. Now, um, we are going into the second set of speeches. These ones are live. And I will invite my co-MC, Jack, to come and lead us in this session. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, fellow mourners, all protocol observed. Uh, thank you, Uncle Wasula, for the first session. To Jacob Senimi Biri, uh, Olimiru Nabodoluba de Rusus, Sibuchi, Ne Chempuli de Mubakava de Wutu Wesuvi, until Mammy should rest well. They are comforting the family. Kalen no, Jacuisa Mufunze Nyokubanga, Obu de Tetuina, and Jagala Genda Wutelev program. Tugenda mu speeches. Uh, tu inaba ntubanja bagendo kogera kumama. Jo ababa deo. Tuafunyo mkiso kuli dobu wako uvamu. Baganda ba Aunt June. Mikwano je. Naba ntubabela na benda mtamba. For our guests. Yesterday we had uh, a vigil. When mom's brother uh, 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 arrived here. Uh, people of the community were given a, a chance. To you know. Uh, speak their heart out to what, how mom impacted them, how they used to relate to her. Kare no, banamta amba, joma afunyo mkisa, katugenda kuo mkisa, mikuano ja family, ne, ne Auntie June. Uh, kutandika na gendo kogera, um, daddy naenga daddy munafu. Kare no, yasa zeo, nafi, okuwa speech ya tata. Nanfi ojako somzindaloguno, you can mix Luganda and English for purposes of understanding. Thank you. Abamwele kedeko bebana banti jun, uh, Lillian Namtebi, ne William Chanjo Fox, baja kufuna time wa yogera, ne katika tulizo waka buata ata, elimi kwa no janti jun. Mwebale nyo. Anafe, Munansunywa, Fenna to our Denny speech, which we were supposed to write, but we we just couldn't. Um, Nzena Fukana Genda, oldest daughter of Mari, and I'm here to speak on be love on behalf of her beloved husband of 53 years, our father, Stephen Peter Nagenda. <coughs> As I said, mommy and daddy, had been married for 53 years. Thank you. 
Mami was born on June 15, 1947, in Musoma, Tanzania, to the late Cecil David Fox and Lily Susanna Cheritich Fox. She was the oldest of four children and attended Mary Hill Primary and Secondary School in Thika, Kenya, from 1952 and until 1964. <clears throat> Mami then moved to Nairobi and worked as an executive secretary in 1969, and that's where she met Daddy, who would go on to be the love of her life. From the stories that Mom told us, and um, her sisters, Auntie Gemma and Auntie Elizabeth, um, they met at a friend's place um, I forget what the friend's Wambalia. name was. Peter Wambalia, the Kenyan delegation will know him very well. Um, Peter was a uh, flamboyant, um, eligible bachelor and a good friend of daddy's at the time. And um, they threw lots of parties and stuff. So one of those times, um, mommy came to the party with a friend of hers. And she had heard about those parties, they were notorious and was really, <laughs> she, she really didn't want to go and definitely did not want to go with the intentions of meeting anyone. However, a friend of hers convinced her and she went and that's where she met daddy. And shortly after they began a courtship and were married in, I can't remember that, in 1969. After 1969, Mummy came um, to Uganda after they got married. And by the way, some of her flower girls are in attendance. Our cousin Sarah Mukasa is there. Another cousin of ours, June Martin, who's not here, but the Martin family is going to be coming. So they moved to Uganda, where mommy made a home for herself. And I was born in 1972, my brother in 73, and Namtevi in 1975. So the rest of the history of mommy you can read in the obituary. I'm just going to talk about what I know about my mom and dad. Fifty-three years of marriage is a long time, especially in this day and age. So they were blessed to have 53 years together. And in 53 years, you not only up spouses, you become partners, but you also become friends. And definitely mommy and daddy were friends. They used to tease each other. Daddy used to call mommy. Whenever he would see her, he would call her. Oh, how are you? It's me, your long-suffering husband. <laughs> June. And by the way, he would introduce that himself like that. He would tell people, I'm June's long-suffering husband. <laughs> of course, as over the years went by, <coughs> the table switched. And dad used to call mommy his long-suffering wife. <laughs> um, going back to our childhood in Lesotho, uh, South Africa, where we left in 1970. 1980. No, we, no, we went to um, Lesotho in Southern Africa in about 76, 79. 79. Okay. 
and we stayed there until 1989. Um, we lived a beautiful life. Um, mommy, wherever she went, she just jumped into the community. Um, in Lesotho, she learned the language, she learned the food, and then subsequently taught everyone around her. There's so many people that we grew up with in Lesotho who have a story about how mommy taught them how to make meat pies, you know, or churn butter, make chapatis, all those things. So it started a long time ago. She never used to be, she never liked to be called a housewife. Instead, she liked to call herself a house manager because she basically managed everything. And really, um, that started in her childhood um, as an adventurous young girl and then when she got married leaving her family um, in Kenya and moving to Uganda and then moving from Uganda to another country and back again and eventually they settled. Um, we lived in Kololo at one time for many years when we were younger, these two were babies. <laughs> um, and then eventually they would make Namtamba their full-time home and mommy immediately, the first time she came here years and years before even we left, um, she just jumped right in. She loved and appreciated the gardens and immediately rolled her sleeves up and basically took over managing this house here the other house and basically the whole, um, the gardens around the estates. Everybody loved mommy, as we know. So many um, things have been said about her. But daddy specifically wanted to thank the Fox family. Um, they're not here right now. The, the Foxes and the Martins, Uncle Bill, the late Uncle Bill. I'm sorry, the Foxes are here, the Martins are not here, sorry. Um, the, the Martins who brought mommy up when um, her parents passed away and indeed gave her away. Um, so daddy wanted to make sure that we, he thanked them, the Martins and the Foxes, the whole Kenya and Tanzania delegation. And of course, the Nagenda, Bakalba, Manyangenda family all our loved ones and relatives and community, community. It's global, honestly. It goes beyond um, just Uganda. In every corner of the world, there was somebody who knew about Namtamba and who knew everything that Mami did. So on behalf of our father, we want to thank every single person Excuse me, just one minute, I'm just going to pause. So Daddy also wanted to thank the Namtamba community who also became a part of our extended family. 
all the people that loved her and cared for her, who used to pray with her. Every single time we'd come home from a holiday or vacation, the community of Namtamba would run without any, we don't even know how they knew that we were here. And they would bring food and so many different things for us to eat and enjoy. And Daddy wants to thank the Namtamba community for doing that. Mommy, as you know, was a caregiver and she cared lovingly, devotedly, dedicatedly to Daddy during his illnesses. She never complained once. She did it with joy from the bottom of her heart. And Daddy wants you all to know that he deeply appreciated his friend, Mommy, for caring for him so lovingly. He loved her very dearly. They were really friends. They would joke, dance together, walk together, laugh. And they pass that on to us, their children. Our greatest joy was to see them in those moments. And mommy and daddy have been the perfect example, even though life is not perfect and they were not perfect and they had their ups and downs. To be together for as long as they were, to work through things together as a couple, and pass those on to, those two, to, our, to them, to us, their children. We really, really, really appreciate that. Okay, I think I'm are you guys speaking now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. You guys go on. Okay. Yeah, in the same vein, I would like to request you. You carry on with your speech because it's next. Our children, yeah, children of Arjun, and I think uh, to be led by William. Jetu was over the Kogel. But someone never knew Njaku Vunulanga. William was over Kogel Amurugan and those. Yes, yes. Which are you? Yes. Uh huh. Caravan Nafe, um, Balam Sizanio, Avaliwano, Tuliwano Munaku, may at the same time Tuliwano Musanio, because of my dearest mother. Mami Wafono, Yalimukuano Guavanji, everybody here. Touched mommy in one way or another. Mommy touched them in one way or another. Side area in Abakozibe, who loved her dearly, who she loved dearly. You know, Tevali Wano, Nevali Nafi, Bari Awe Bari. Our mother meant a lot to everybody and especially a lot to us. Ono Mamo, no. Namukazaki Rinya Rodusi and Kubide Simu. Eh, Chanjo, Gampita Chanjo Gam Gamba Wanji, Mukazi Chuma. Yadi, Rinyadi, or Yamukazi Chuma, or Yokola, Yamama of Fe. Because of everything she did, her devotion to her husband her devotion to her family, and her devotion to her being a Jehovah Witness. So my mother was very, Mama Yali, steadfast. Mubiona, ovanga kumuntunga, 
buli kintu ekimu nga kitereeza you know nga buli kimu taina taina watatereeza mu bulamu bwe i have not seen you can, we can always to so bulabu likaseda kuogera ku bantu no baba agenze no yogera ibirungi byo kanenze simanyi muntu wano i need chintu cha so bulabu laba echali echitali kirungi ku mama wange muita mama wange kubanga sorry nam to be nine nine i was her favorite nze na li baby nchali baby we pagamba that was my mom That's you know very true. <laughs> so we're all here to to say bye to my mother i won't speak much nay um wali wo lugero mu luganda olugamba nti emiti emito je jigumya ekibira but there's a saying in english which says even withered trees give prosperity to the mountain ababa kadabo bemulaba withered trees give prosperity to the mountain batata aba abakuze mwenna mwenna bali nafa abakuru kitegeza mu luganda ejmt emiwotofu ejmt emikulukulu abakuze mwe muletira kasozi emikisa so fe abana abato tuliwo kulwamwe abakulu abatukuziza tata wa for your daddy you know? so we should we should never forget that as youth you know come back to your older people atechilala twino gamba abantu ba fe wino gamba turn around and tell somebody i love you kubanga tumanya incha omuntu ojajjo kupera You might love somebody in Nyakwagala you know they, you never said it that they just tell somebody you love hey tebi tebi nafi daddy i love you you know yeah so it, it means a lot yeah and I'll, i have one more quote for my mom which goes that um this is just a quote she she was she was a portion of the loveliness which once she made more lovely ngendageza ko nchinyonyole mu luganda mama wange let me repeat it in english she was a portion of the loveliness which once she made more lovely chitegeza anti mama yali omu yali omu kwebi ebirungi yali omu kwebi ebirungi be a fooler ebirungi dala yali mama wango yali omu ku bidunji atebe yasobola okufula ebirungi dala yali ebirungi dala ebyo be a fooler yali omu ku ebyo i remember mommy and we we're going to remember her through everything she lived for mommy yali very passionate mu mu bimuli bino bimulaba yanku bidanga masimo bulika sera chanjo eh you know obunyonyi buli wano the birds are chirping you know and the rain kuba yatonye the grass is green you should see this you know and um that's that's chetwa sharing it, it, it was so fortunate until i hadn't been back home for sat down kumala miaka mukaga kubanga commitment says bereri buli kasera tugamba tujja kudda tujja kudda nayi the first day we came back here i had a time alone na ine kisera kitono mu garden ne ntulanze ka mu garden wali waguru ku nyumba ye and i i felt the presence of, of my dear mother up there Mommy we love you but we are strong for you because of the way you conducted yourself tukwagala nyo mama ate we will we will carry on for you we wao tulibanaku 
na ye tu tuliba gumu tukaba ne tuseka ne tubira musanyu kwa mama ovanga ku muntu abalese wawo nga temwera ikiranti mama yale abula ko kino bachidi so gemanyi ge tutambulira mu mwe bali nyo Definitely, the mic needs to be adjusted. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. Just like she always used to call me, <sighs> my tears are so close. She'd always say, ah, "But you cry, you cry, baby. Be strong." <laughs> <laughs> I cry for everything. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and speak. I don't know how far I'll go, but um, thank you everybody for coming. Uh, where do we begin? You know, we always know that death will come for all of us, but we never imagine when or it will be our person. You know, no one here imagines that. You just go and get up this morning and you don't know that at the end of this day or at some time in that day, that is going to be the day that you lose somebody. So, mom and I have been best friends. You know, I've been living here and, you know, taking care of them just like they took care of us. And she and dad taking care of me as well, really. But we grew to become best friends. Of course, many times she'd call Nanfi and complain and say, your sister Namtebi, she'd call me Namtebi. Your sister Namtebi is too tough on me. <laughs> I'm told I'm a very serious person. <laughs> so, and then they would laugh about it. Then even her and I, when we're, we're saying, but mom, this, that, that, then she's saying, this, then she's saying, but you're doing, and we'd laugh. So we're like friends. She wouldn't mind me even not telling her off, but saying, but mom, how could you do this this way? Wouldn't it be easier or better this way? And she'd say, you know, we are grown up, but we can also learn from young people. <laughs> Anyway, my mom was my best friend, and I'm going to miss her for that. I'm going to miss the phone calls where we just talk and talk for hours about so many things. And then um, at the same time, she was also my sister because I'm also a Jehovah's Witness like herself. So we talk about so many spiritual things, give each other encouragement. Um, when we see something nice or think that, oh, this would be nice. I thought of you when I read this. Mm. Or did you read the daily scripture and things like that? I'm going to miss that so much. Because how do you have that in your mother? And then she's also your sister, your spiritual sister. But anyway, I thank Jehovah because it was such a beautiful relationship. All of us here have had the person that was June Nagenda, really, as a mother, what a privilege. The fine example she set, the humility she had, the simplicity. We have so many things. You know, mom was a very artistic and poetic person. So we have photographs, and we have her thoughts on those, which is such a beautiful thing to have and remain with. So she'll put a picture, and she'll write something there. Of course, when it comes to William's children, she says, this is my grandson brackets, William Chanjo Nagenda, as if we don't know that's her son. <laughs> and Nanfi and I were like, where are we in the picture? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, we used to really like that. You know, she would call him Sunny Boy, you know, and things like that. They were very close, as a mother would be with a son, but she overfavored William, and I'm the last born. <laughs> Everything was about William, this, this, this. Anyway. So um, we would enjoy those conversations. We would be together in everything. You know, um, if, if dad wasn't feeling well or if she was not feeling well, then I'm so grateful that I could be here for my siblings and I to really take care of them because what we wanted is to also take care of mom and dad just like they took care of us, you know? I thank you guys, William and Nafi, for your support as well. There have been many phone calls where I call and um, 
I'm just bouncing off things, or I can't think, or I don't want to take major decisions by myself. So I call and I say, this is what I'm thinking, or this is what's happening, you know, what do you think we should do? Some of the things, I'll just get along with them because it was okay, I was comfortable with them. So I just want to thank you. And don't feel bad, even if you are not here, you've always been there in real time, you know? I call and you take your time and you explain and you also come in and handle the things I can't handle because not everything is handled physically, you know? I love you guys and just know that um, mom really, as you said, uh, going back to how she took care of dad on a daily, you know, like uh, the things that she's doing, no, this is for my mzee, this is for daddy, this is, you know, everything that she did was focused around dad, very selfless, even, even very selfless, even if she's doing anything for anybody, not even just us, her own children or dad, just a selfless person. She thinks, you know, you'd send her things to make her house look nice or send her something and you've gone all out to, to set maybe buy her an expensive perfume or a very nice outfit. Next thing you find, she's given it out to somebody. <laughs> a very expensive one, which you said, oh, this is for my mom, let me, whee, it's given out. But that was her generosity. Truly speaking, as you said, it's William and Nancy, it's very good that at least we have, we remain with the person she was and the impact she had in our lives, her strength and her faith in Jehovah. And then now when you come to the gardens, the gardens tell a story for themselves as well of who, of who mom was. Mm -hmm. So at least we can walk through and when we come through we just say, oh, I remember her here. Oh, look how this was. You know, I've been coming here quite a bit, but being used to the garden, now I wish I'd been going to every single place. Because I'm like, hey, she put this flower here. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> and it's been there the whole time. So I really enjoy coming back here, looking through the garden, looking at the pictures and when she, where she wrote her thoughts there, a little story. And I always, being the wonderful person she was and her character and how loving, flamboyant, creative, I just, I'm not a person who's a good storyteller, so I always used to have this fear that should my mother die before me, how will I be able to put into words just who my mother was? Mm. But she's made that so easy, you people. Mm. I mean, the people who've been coming round, everyone's talking, they say, eh, yatuwa butabo. Now, these butabo are Bible-based literature for, by Jehovah's Witnesses, so anyone should give She's giving you that, she's reading for you a scripture, she refers you to something. So she really, really, really did that preaching of the good news that gives hope, that gives courage, because all of us do need that. Mm. She did it so well here. There's no one she didn't give. Another one she'll say, eh, this is good for youth. Let me go and give it to the people at the college down there. And then she takes it, you know? So she want to thank the Namtamba community as well for embracing her and actually for them they're just saying Mama Wafe. She was a mother to many all sorts of walks of life here in Namtamba. Truly speaking we really feel the gap and not just us as a family. It's, it's a gap that's also felt in Namtamba. Yeah. To you daddy we love you very much we are here with you. Our condolences as well, our condolences, but we will make it through. Jehovah God will help us and we'll continue to try our best to just do a quarter of what she used to do. But we've had some practice. She's taught us and we will do for you her way of how she used to do. Look after you and everything. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, so um, to the family, I would say on, on dad's side, thank you very much for loving my mother. You really, she has best friends on all sides, the Bakalua side, the Manyangenda side, 
like their own sister, really. So thank you for embracing my mother. Thank you for loving her. She has best friends among the family. Really, what more can, can we say? To my kids, Keza, Sima, Bukunda, and Kamba, Jaja loved you. She loved you so much. But I'm going to be, just do things like how she said, and be strong and copy her, you know? I'm drawing strength from her, and I know Jehovah has helped us, he's helped us all, otherwise we'd not be able to come up here and speak. Hmm? But you know how much Jaja loved you. Hmm? Tolo and sending you this, telling you this and the other, and laughing with her. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she used to love laughing and joking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we'll see her again. My, my, my faith mm -hmm. in, the, in God's word, the Bible, that says there'll be a resurrection, <coughs> at Acts 24:15, at John 5:28:29, and Revelations 21, 3 and 4, which says, that he'll wipe out all the tears from their eyes and death and mourning and outcry will, will be no more. These former things have passed away. So better times are coming. We're going to see our dead loved ones and of this I'm convinced. Yeah, we look forward to that time and love you all. I, 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 I know that each one of you also knows and has something to say about mom, which is such a relief to all of us because we don't have to describe her to you. You already know. Yeah. Thank you. I recognize the presence of my in-laws, my mom-in-law, and uh, Uncle Matthew and Aunt Sheba. Um, Auntie Peace as well is here, and Dobbs. So they're here, and we recognize your presence as well. And my other in-laws, uh, thank you also for being a very loving family. I take my mom-in-law as my mom, really, we're just calling and half the time even my husband Paul doesn't even know what we are planning. <laughs> <laughs> he finds out later, oh yeah, this and this and this, you know, so thank you, mom, thank you. Thank you for being so loving. Yeah, thank you, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lillian. Yeah. I'm only disappointed that each time you took a Luganda phrase, I thought you'd continue the same vein, because I enjoy Luganda, but it's all good. It's all well. Yeah. Katinze wemba saso maluzungu mbutufu. Oku interpreting muluganda. It's going to be a tall order. Neka tukatufune nothing ayogera. Then to gende putede program. Last but not least. <laughs> so, mommy, as everybody said, as my sibling said, loved everybody. She was loved by everybody. But truly, she was also our friend. You know, with all her kids. Namte, everybody thinks, William thinks he's the favorite. Namte thinks whatever she thinks. But I'm the oldest and I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Mommy used to say with her children. And by the way, we're her blood children, but she had many extended mm -hmm. children who she brought up and will bring them and they'll acknowledge her. So she, she would always tell me, ah, these two are always squabbling about who's, who's the favorite. But you know me? <laughs> You, you're my favorite because you're my oldest daughter. Okay? <laughs> William is my favorite because he's my son, sunny boy. Namtebi is her favorite because she's the baby, you know? And truly, that's how it was. We laughed with her. As Tebi said, she would, laughter was one of her favorite things. Laughing, joking, telling stories. You know, we shared, um, you know, so many different things for myself. Um, also, as a caregiver of my daughter and my husband, we could relate to the things that she was going through, daughter and mother, and we would compare things, and, and she would always feel so bad for me, you know? And I would tell her, but mommy, why are you feeling bad for me? You also have your lot. And she'd say, no, my daughter. But then, and then we would pray, and she would tell me to be strong. <coughs> Obviously, as, as Tebby said, you know, I moved to the U.S. almost... 29 years ago. Yes, thank you. Almost 29 years ago, and I hadn't been back home in a long, long time. Um, however, last year, in the midst of COVID, we had planned a trip during, before COVID, and we had to cancel it two times because 
everything was shut down. And then last year, my husband Stephen Lobogo and I said, you know what, come and buy and buy. We have to go to Namtamba and see mommy and daddy. Everybody advised us not to do it, but we insisted, we pushed through, and were able to make it. It was a difficult trip. It took us four days to leave, but when we landed here, we were home, and we had, we, I came straight to Namtamba with my daughters, um, Emily and Stephanie, and my husband, Stephen, and we had such a good time. You know, like William said, you arrive down at the bottom of the hill and you know you've arrived home. So we're able to spend that quality time together. And over the years, as my children have grown up, every time we talk on the phone, she taught both of them, especially Stephanie, because she's older than Emily, how to pray and how to sing. She loved sharing songs. And my daughter Stephanie, as you saw in the videos, also likes singing. Now both of them, funny story, love to sing, however they cannot carry a tune at all. But they sing they would and loud. So that's the first thing they did, they sat on that bench over there. Mommy put on her music and she said, okay Stiffy, time to sing. And they sang to their heart's content. And her instilling those songs, Stiffy remembered all the songs that she taught them when they were young, Emily also remembered prayers that she had taught them when they were young how to pray. Steffi always used to say, I'm never going to die. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> and she told that to, they called her Mama Juni. She told that to Mama Juni. And Mama Juni said, but Steffi, prayer is, dying is not bad. Don't be afraid to die. And Steffi said, oh, why? She was perturbed. And Mommy explained to her what happens and how one day we'll have a chance to meet in paradise. So she explained all that to her. And one of the last things that she, Steffi said to me was, I'm not afraid to die. I hope I don't die, I think she said it in the video. <laughs> but if I do, I know I'm gonna be okay. I'll meet all my loved ones. <clears throat> I just wanted to tell you about the last few weeks of mommy's life. You know, you look back, when, when your loved one passes, you look back in retrospect and you start to reflect on all the things that had happened. Mommy was healthy, completely healthy. She used to walk actively. She wasn't sick. She had things that bothered her, obviously as a woman of her age. But she was really healthy. And about three weeks ago, my Auntie Ruth, Akasa Campbell, and her network here, as you guys know, is bad. For some reason, on that day that Auntie Ruth called her, they were able to connect, and they connected and spoke almost for an hour, which was unheard of. And then, the next week, we were, um, our family, the Naginda family got together and was celebrating um, the life of Auntie Jane Naginda, just as a, to commemorate one year after her passing. And we tried to connect and get mommy and daddy on. The network was bad. And we said, OK, well, we'll just tell them how it was. So we're on the Zoom, all of us, again, there's all the kids from California, London, everywhere, Uganda. And all of a sudden, boop, up comes mommy. And her not being a techie person, she just started speaking. Hey! I see you. Hey, Sarah. Sarah, bring my sugar. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget daddy's Uncle Stephen's sugar. She just started to brrrr. And then I'm to be told her. What did you say? I think I said mute or she said, in Kalenjin, sis, uh -huh. sisige. Sisige, mommy, sisige, sisige. <laughs> that Quiet. Shh. Everybody's listening to what you're saying. And we laughed and we laughed and we laughed. And that two hours that we spent together as a family, was so precious because so many of us were connected. And she saw all these people in these boxes from everywhere. What a blessing, right? And then on the day that she passed, on Friday night before she passed, 
I saw some miss. I had. I woke up Saturday morning, 7 a.m., and I saw some missed calls. Saturday, yeah, yeah. Um, I saw some missed calls from Namtebi telling me that mummy was in the hospital. Um, she had sent me a voice message, so I got up. I went to walk our dog, and as I was walking to the dog, I listened to the message, and I heard Namtebi telling me, "Mummy's in the hospital. You know, call me. Let me update you." So I, I um, before I called Namtebi, I called William, and I told William I gave him the, the situation, and I said, "Okay, now I'm going to call Namtebi, find out the details. I'll call you back." So I called Tebi, and the doctor happened to be there, so we spoke, and then he told me, "Yeah, she needs to go, you know, to Mulago where they can take better care of her." So Namtebi, so so Namtebi said, "You know, Namfi." You better talk to mommy now because it's going to get hectic after she gets into the ambulance and goes. And I said, okay. So she puts mommy on the phone and mommy comes on and she says, hey, my daughter Namfuka, I'm so sorry. I said, mommy, what? I'm so sorry for disturbing you. I said, mommy, you're not disturbing. How are you? And she said to me, I'm fine, Namfuka, my daughter, I'm fine. Jehovah God is with me. I'm strong. Those were her last words to me. She said, Jehovah God is with me. I am strong. And I said, okay, mommy, I love you. Go. Let me not keep you on the phone. And I hang up the phone, and I called William, and I gave him the update. I said, William, I just spoke to mommy. She sounds strong. She's going to be okay. Everything's fine. So I hang up, I said, William said, okay, good, 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 keep me updated. And then I called Tebby back, she wasn't picking up. She had left the room to go and do the, sort the hospital out. The next phone call that I got from my sister, she didn't even speak, she was just crying. And I knew that mommy was gone. <sighs> I was trying to comfort Tebby because poor thing was there. She had just talked to mommy and left the room to come back to find her gone. And we were not there with her. And it broke my heart. My baby sister had to deal with that. So then I had the difficult task to call my brother. And he had also been anxiously waiting. I gave him the news and we cried. And then informed other people. But after about an hour, I cried and I cried and I cried and I called William and we cried again and called Tebby and we cried again in shock and disbelief about what had happened. And then I cried, I stopped, I felt myself sinking, sinking and sinking and I said, oh my goodness, I can't do this. I need to be strong. I need to be strong. And I got up and I remembered those words that mommy had just told me. And I don't know where I got the strength. And I had to call Auntie Ruth and our cousin Senti was there and informed them. I don't even know where I got the strength. But then all of a sudden I got up and I started cleaning my house. That's something that mommy would do. She would grieve, take a deep breath, and she would always tell us, be strong, take a deep breath, be strong, but you need to move now. You can't break. So I did that. And I cleaned my house because I knew people were going to be stopping by. But I'm saying all this to say, that in mommy's last minutes of her life, physically, William and I were not there, but we were actually there, play by play. The last voice she heard from us descend was mine, and I heard her voice saying, I'm strong, Jehovah God is with me. And I called Namtebi, and I called William, and I told them, mommy said that. She said, she's strong, Jehovah God is with her. 
And that gave us so much strength to make it through the next days when people were visiting and paying their respects. And it's something that I will hold deeply and appreciate from the bottom of my heart and thank my darling, beloved mommy for being such a sweet, 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 sweet mommy, for teaching us everything that she taught us, for teaching us to be strong, for teaching us to have faith in Jehovah God. And really, those things are what's going to sustain us. And of course, the love of all our family, the Nagenda family, all our cousins, Uncle John, our dear Uncle John obviously is not here because he's, he's not well. And it was very difficult. I went to see him before I came to Namtamba. It was so difficult for him not to come. And I told him, Uncle John, you can't come. You know, even mommy would tell you, no, John, mm -mm, it's okay. All our cousins, many who are here from the Fox family, the Martins, the Nagendas, Tendo is here, Tendo Nagenda, Sarah Mukasa is here, Chiveru is here, all our family, the Chigozis, everybody all across the globe who are not here. We want to thank you for holding us through those difficult days. You know, we're blessed as a family to be so strong knit on all our sides. And mommy really made sure that we knew everybody and were connected to them in that way, you know? And so that's what we're going to hold close to us as we go through the days. And every time we remember how diff we, we feel broken, we'll remember what she told us about how we have to be strong in Jehovah. Thank you. Our kids. So, um, one of my video feed, one of my wange Stephen, my daughter Jane, and my wife Flavia. They were so decorated and affewano. Ababa labi mo ababa labi wali ku video feed. Nay, I want to introduce my son, Cecil. Cecil Jango. Oh, yes, Cecil Chanjo. Now, this is Jaja's favorite of the favorites. Both Jaja's, by the way. Chanjo, Tajak Sola Kogirale, Dok Vanga, Aminsinganyo Jajawe. They were best of friends, they were best of everything. And um, I had to break the unfortunate news to him, but it had to come from me, from Jaja. But he knows that Jaja is there for him. Jaja used to. Yamusome sanga Bible, so I'm a judge. Jala says so. Judge about the quagala in you. Already so tumble and nature, Mogamo Bona, about the quagala, never Stephen, ne Jane, Mona Mona. Already, yeah, thank you. So I, my children, come, I introduce you quickly, then we go. Come, I've missed you so much. <laughs> been up and down okay so these are her other grandchildren who are present here I start with the firstborn Keza Sima Rukundo and Kamba do any of you want to speak not able yeah okay it's fine okay so these are them hmm? okay and uh, of course Paul's family will speak on their behalf I'm not sure, hey Paul is there that's my husband Paul Bangana for those who don't know him and uh, my in-laws are also here so that's the family and the reason Namtabi doesn't know Luganda she speaks better than Nyankoli <laughs> okay so can I also speak some Rutoro Orujungu kani ringi muno. <laughs> Bane, abana abu, muwampiru obugaro, bagumie. <laughs> Nena ange kansabe, neme kudamu bie bogede, speeche wa dempangu. Nyuzo okulimba, tenga newalokulimba. Neche njizemu, muluzungu, 
there lies a matriarch, a mother who impacted many lives globally, by the way. Abadinavana, Batazalanga, but in Namtam, Mikuano G, Babio get the Guru, Nancy Biao get the, I'll get the Kumkuano Guata, and Mamma, Emiaka Tano Moesatu, is a long time. Uncle Stephen, Nemamim Bawobugalo. These guys have loved each other. Ne, William, Nerebi Dokuza, you are all mommy's favorite. So, who ate most scrambled eggs? Because it was a, a main dish here. Was it you or Nancy or Lillian? Ah, uh, I see the uh, yes, never height ye. Eh, mwana wa jaja. But se I would like to announce these uh, a few things. My A team kindly serve the people. Uh their places of convenience. E mawe gawali wali kumuti gulio munene. Mama gwa dala bidida. Wali wo excellent signal. when you turn on my far right, you can go behind there and call your loved ones and tell them we are in Namtamba. But barring a great mother and a friend. Then even to the extreme left. Um, I would like to remind each and everyone there is a virtual audience. This function is live. So remind these people to log in to Omkolo, Guliku YouTube and other channels so you can also watch uh, the proceedings. Uh, I want to put uh, the following Speakers on notice. Tugenda kuli doko gero kuveli senga Ruth. Na genda mkasa. Kambo, in case you're ready. Uh, we shall have Anna Martin. Um, we'll have uh, the Vainganas, our in-laws. Uh, Tebi just introduced them. And I think Paul will, will chip in for them. We'll have uh, Mami's Namtamba children, who are very many. And we'll get one representative. You choose among us yourself. Then we'll have uh, Uncle Stephen Ruanga and Aunt Peace. Norman and Frida Sharita. David Bate. Mitiana Congregation of Jehovah Witness and Namtamba Community. Each and everyone is going to use two minutes. Because we really, we are running out of time. So allow me. Mpite Senga Ruth. Ono Sobolo Kuja. Oyogere Eriabant, Ovakas in the Long Caletao. Sengarus, your favorite were William Chanju, Nagaka Mulop, a Kogera Koja to be a day. Hello, I am given two minutes, so I'm going to try and keep it to, to that. Mze Ruth Mukasa. Nze Ruth Mukasa Nagenda. Um, mfamile ya fetuli mwaba na bana. Patano mkaga. Abawala babiri. Nabale nzi babiri. Unfortunately, some of them are no longer with us in, in, um, in, in person, but they are always with us in spirit. Uluna kuluwa lero lukuru nyo. Okusivula. Omwagalwa wafe, omwagalwa wafe, tuwa gado kufalwe tuwa mlaba, okutu kakati, ilani kakati nkaka sacha tuwa gala. She will always leave her, love, love us and we will always love her. Tusali duwa nyo 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 okusivu la juni. Evi nitu bietuwa itamu okutu kakutege ilanti juni agenze tebiyali biangu. Ilani kakati. Is it true? Na ye, I'm encouraged by the words that were spoken by the, the children here. Okugama and Tivagumye, and they are strong, and they thank God for their mom. Na fetuwe waza nyonyo, okutuwa juni, mufamile ya fe. Tuwa deba gaga because of that. Nga tuwe ya gala, tuja wano. O ingiranga boyagala, o suranga boyagala, o yanga choyagala. Juni avadem nafenyo. Era. Webito, tevija kubera viangu. Netu evazam kama. Oktua juni, mbulamu wafe. Kande kerao, kubanga, bampa de dachika bidi. Ate navy gambo savi tegesevanang emnansonywa. Okay. 
singa netonze uh, ndu, duku duku woli duku tamanyi luganda i would like to take this opportunity eh hey, wagenyi wetu kutoka kenya eh uko wapi eh tunawakaribisha karibuni eh? chiruga yangu sio nzuri lakini okay so uh, are the martins have they come duku they on the way we can suspend uh, that then i would like to invite my in law paul bayingana paul okay um paul alabika umaitu bade tukolana yo kumalena kubiri achali kumirim naye huyu aduka msaje achali wa amani eh hey. Paul yangu wa sala kudamu kusabante ndabo mchala nyiride nyo eh hey, so you're going to talk on behalf of our in-laws the rich kairis you most welcome to namtamba thank you is it rich kairis uh byingana yes combined thank you uh friends uh fellow mourners from all different places some are from namtamba kampala nairobi we have in a group they are still on the road they are about to arrive from all over the place uh, because of time uh, i won't say so much but what i'll do is a uh, I have here my parents who have come here to be with us today. They are friends in this home. They come over and over again for each and every event. Uh, so I think I'll invite them to come. Then they'll be the ones who will speak representing the so-called in-laws. I'm an in-law, but I can't uh, have enough capacity to talk on their behalf when I have my my bazir here or my bazade. Uh, so I think the correct thing would be uh, for them to come and they'll be the ones actually to talk on behalf. So MC, the, yeah, they are going to be the ones because they are they are, can able to represent. Hmm? Yeah. So I only to say that. We were there right on the day these things happened. So as we know the story, we know from the beginning, we have said it over and over again. But when I received the news, I was in two minds. Of course, I was uh, sad, you know, losing anybody. It's always sad, losing a mother and, a so, and so on. Uh, but another part of me was happy because the way Aunt June went, was the way people knew her. She was happy, she was smiling until the, the, the last time. And she never shows pain. She was talking and walking. And she didn't suffer or didn't feel any pain. I can assure you that for even one minute. She was there one minute and just looked up and, and she, she, she was gone. So she went very peacefully. Please, her sisters there and everybody, just at least know that. She went very peacefully and happily and we handled her from there on and she remained with a small smile even up to now it is still showing on her face you know uh, to uncle Stephen uh, uh, people are saying how will you be alone and this and that you will not be alone we are going to look after you we shall check on you we shall come around here you know me very well, I come and I spend hours with you there. So I want to assure you that nobody should say you'll be alone, you'll not be alone. Uh, to William and Nanfi and others, uh, let's, let's work together. Let's work together. There is uh, much of the job which mom left behind to be done. We have to continue her presence here and we work together and make sure that we keep this, the, the Namtamba going. Uh, and I think now 
Uncle Matthew and uh, my mother can come and uh, I think now talk on behalf of the family and uh, tell you uh, actually they are, the, they are the ones who I have the capacity to represent the family and they are right here. And uh, they will also take the chance to introduce because we have a number of other people we are with here so I think that should be more of their job than mine. Thank you. Okay. As I have told you, I'm Mrs. Bengana, Paul's mom. And I apologize for my husband. He was not well. He could not make the journey to Namtamba. And he didn't have energy to sit for a long time. But he sent his greetings and he sent he, he, he sent us to actually represent him, uh, to stand with you, and he's with us in spirit. To Namtebi, I, th I think you have said it all. June, June was my friend. There is no way you could not be June's friend. Because just one single meeting was enough to make you June's friend. Now, we used to talk a lot, but uh, there is a spot, he even he said he had one spot where if she wanted network, she would go. If she really, we, if we wanted to talk. Ever laughing, ever smiling, we enjoy a relationship together as mothers of Paul and Lillian, and we shall still enjoy the relationship with Namtamba, with Uncle Stephen, with the children, even those who are in America. Namteb is much of my daughter, as she was to June. She has picked a lot of characteristics from June. I'm glad we, we picked that flower from June's garden, and we planted it in the Bengana family. And she's doing very well. She has produced four children for us, very nice children. I've been keeping these children for the last two weeks, but all my workers at the home say, eh, they have Barunji. Barunji. They, they, they look at their age. They spent two very peaceful days, and my workers are saying, eh, Banavana So, Namtevi, that is the report I have from all the people who have been coming for two weeks. They are very nice children. So, Mr. Mami Steveny, we are with you. We shall help these children to help you. We shall do whatever we can. I'm glad June went so well. The way she went is some, something I would like to happen. Without pain, with such a lot of hope of the resurrection. And I think since we're all Christians, that's the hope we have because we have no control over other things. The only thing is to clean up and hope the way we shall go and, hope and believe in God and know that we shall meet at a good time in a good place. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, uh, Paul, and the Master of Ceremonies. My name is Matthew Uchikeire. I'm the young brother of Sam Bengana, the father of Paul Bengana, Paul Bengana, who is the husband of Namtebi. So I have come to represent our large family, and I'm glad that they are all here, or oh, most of them are here. I can see the chief evangelist. Stephen is married to our family, Stephen Wanga, he is also here with peace. I can see the other chief angels here. I can see the Ramnai is here. And many others who are passionately committed to the family of Namtevi because she's somebody they really love. Um, I can't say much because we are restricted by time. 
But I want to say that even before we became connected through Paul's and Lillian's marriage, some of us were already related or committed or grew up with the Nagenda family. John Nagenda, we went together to Giz High School many years ago when we were children. We went together to King's College Budo, and we went together to Makerere University. He was a sportsman, so was I, a sports person. Stephen, who has lost his dear wife, June, is somebody whom I have known for decades. We didn't go to school together, but we worked together for a long time in Nairobi and associated very, very closely. When I got married in Brussels, when I was representing East Africa to the European Economic Community at that time, that was 1968, Stephen is one of the few people who flew from East Africa, from Nairobi, to come to Brussels to attend our wedding. Stephen, I want to remind you about that one and tell you how grateful we remember, we have a memory of your effort to come and see us when we are getting married with Sheba here. June has been part of our family. She's been like our sister. She's been somebody who is dear to our children, has also participated in bringing them up, but more importantly, has been the mother of Namutebi, the wife of Paul, whom we value so deeply in this extended family of ours. And I want to say today that if anybody has enriched our family, one of the greatest enrichers of that is Namutebi. And we want to thank you for that. All these ladies here and the men and so on, all of them love Namute as a blood relation. And therefore, I would like to commend Lillian before you and publicly that he's somebody whom, as a family, as the extended family, we value absolutely uh, with a lot of passion. This place, Namutamba, is some place that we also value. I know that although there is a difference between some of our faiths, between June and Lillian and others, and some of us who have remained the mainstream of the Protestant church, but we really all belong to a generation which sprang from uh, the revival movement and Namtamba was part or was the bastion of that movement where it grew up. I can see some of the other people who have grown up here, like Vinyanyezi, Ruth, I can see her here. I can see many other people. So Namtamba is a place which we really treat as ours, where our fathers and our grandfathers uh, thank to God and preach the gospel around the world. We know that um, Nagenda himself, the old Nagenda, was like a doyen, was also great in this church. And therefore, when we come here, it's like it's homecoming and we value our presence here. We value Stephen for you to have come here and lived here and maintained the home and kept the torch of the revival, revival movement. We thank you very much. In conclusion, in a very short uh, way of saying, I want to once again bring our deepest condolences, especially to Stephen, for the loss of somebody whom we valued extremely deeply. 
and to assure you that we are with you all the way. We have been with you. And even when June is gone, you can trust that we will always be with you because we have been with you and we will always be with you as long as we are alive. Thank you very much. I think, uh, is there anything else you want? Shiba, come here so I can introduce you. Take off your mask so they can see you. <laughs> Robina. Robina, oh yeah. you come. And I would like, uh, I don't know whether Stephen is going to speak, but I would like Stephen. He's going to speak. And. He's going to speak. Ah. He's going to speak. <laughs> Janguano. So th these are our people. This is my wife, Shiba. This is my sister, Robina. And this is my sister, Peace Chivenje Ruanga, representing the other members of the family who are here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who? Ramnahi. Yes. Mary Ramnahi is also here representing the Ramnahi. And our brother in law, Mwehir, is there and so on. So we are here in, 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 in a big way. And Mrs. Who? Yes, Mrs. Kategaya. Eva Winston, Winston, sorry, my daughter, um, uh, Mora is here, Mrs. Kategaya is here, also part of our family. So we've come as a big group, and uh, I can see Robert. So we are, all of this is filled by the Miranda family, which I represent here. So thank you very much uh, for honoring me to say a few words on their behalf. Thank you. Forgive me for that extra minute, but there's no one can grab a microphone, a representative of such a big delegation. Eh? And you know, Lydian, you're one lucky girl. I've had an incredible message from mother-in-law. Eh? You're such a well-behaved lady. Thank you. Aunt Junior, Kulira Bulunji. I think I'm going to be tough now on time. Kubanga, Jehovah Witness wants to Take on the floor. Katin Saba Abagazo Badakoba Nang, Tukumo Woodi. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard Uncle John at Rokubera Nafe, Tasobo de Kubera O, Mugonv Gonv, Nair to where is the mama, Aunt Marion, wherever you are, come and speak to the mourners. Thank you so much. Aunt Marion, again, the Kogera Kuru Uncle John. Atali nafe, nendo za wali atlaba virtually. Mwebale nyo. Aba kungu baziba nafe, tuwe baza, ukubanti muze, mubonji buwe muti. Netu mani muzi wa kubamba ya galanyo. June, anti June, mchala Stephen na kenda. Ndiwa noransu unganti, anko John na kenda. Umami wangi. Tasopode kuja, halimazigeka. Tasopode olovrade, era munafu, era bade tatambula kubamu januari. Na ya alina mwe in spirit. Tetu soko la kuloza na mtamba wana avera. Nga anti juni taliwa. Nga petu wa defenatu mwita. Nga juni taliwa. Na emu kama jatugumia. Era. Anti juni. Ya wade. The jewel of na mtamba. Uncle Stephen kusasi denyo. Na ina fetuwe sasi de. Mkama. Amula mwile mtunji. Eo jagenzi. She will live on in our hearts. Weba le nyo Aunt Marion, weba le Dela, mkama gumye, ate otulamusize Uncle John. Se Lugando no so loko gero Lugando. Msaja gwena zanyana ebi gote ndo unu. Sumeba chadukilo Lugando. 
Next time, Kari. Gena Maso. Um, I'm just going to let Tendo is going to speak on behalf of his late father, Uncle Jim, who was um, daddy's brother, and his mom, and Ruth Nagenda, and on behalf of all our cousins who are not here. Hello. Um, I'm Tendo Nagenda, the oldest son of Jim Nagenda, who was laid to rest here in Namtamba two years ago. The last time I was here, with Auntie June hosting us and, as she did, bringing us home. Um, on behalf of all the cousins that could not make it and my mother, Ruth Nagenda, um, I'd just like to say I've had the honor of meeting maybe a few angels in my life. And Auntie June was definitely one of those angels. When we moved, we moved to Namdama in 1987 from uh, California. My sisters, two younger sisters, Jibu and Sanyu, a baby at the time, and my mother. And Auntie June came soon after, and it was as if, um, an angel had arrived. She welcomed us and almost helped us understand how to be here. And that's lasted 35 years of coming back. And so the thing that I've said to, to Namfi and Namdebi and William along the way is that strength carries on and the honor that I hope to give her, and that I hope we all can give her, is to do as much for each other as she did for us. And maybe we'll have a chance to see her in the afterlife. Thank you. Do you remember the pink uniform? OK. Basebo um, Nebanyabo, <laughs> Tendo. Na ye alimukunyora, uloku virako Aunt June. Tuonge uloku waniliza abagenya wa zotwe gatako. Kama wange DPC weba likuja. The call was haphazardly done. Uwe atukulila polisi mitiana. Newe na muku vila nemu sababu kumi. Ya yangu weda tukweba za. Amidi stars, tuina omula mze ya kalu ndewe mpia. Untebe, mkulu wana nchimi. Tukule nge dewe balikuja kubela nafe. Atoli mwana mmaka. Njaga la kuangu kuita bakodomi bafate. Our in-laws, the Lubogo family, kindly come and talk to the mourners. Yes. Bwema maliliza. Njaga kuita awa the chairperson wafe, Michael MC. Uh, atenga ne mkodomi wafe. Bwema le kujana mtamba manges, the beautiful flowers, nulonda uchimu. Namtamba is known for that. Thank you. The Lubogo family, you have uh, two minutes. Kindly use that microphone. Thank you. Um, good afternoon, fellow mourners. Uh, my name is uh, Dennis Lubogo, and I'm here to represent the Lubogo family, the family of the late Justice David Lubogo, and uh, my brother as well, Stephen Lubogo, my older brother. Um, I, won't, I won't say much because in the interest of time and I have a fellow elder member of the family who will um, say something also. But um, I first met uh, Mama June, I think it was in 1998 and um, we came to this lovely place. But one of the things that stands out with uh, Mama June was the, the warmth and the love she always exhibited uh, when you would meet her, whether here or whether in, uh, in Kampala. It was, you know, you can always feel um, a genuine flow of love, nothing forced, no pretense, and she was, um, she'd always greet you, ask how is Mama, and by, sorry, and Mama is also sitting there Child of Ogosara, Nafunafumuko, Nea Bawubi Demo. 
but um, she was, Mama June was a loving person, caring, very affectionate person, and I think it uh, also trickled down to the children. Uh, Nafi, at times we call her Mama Nafi, whenever we visit them in, uh, in Connecticut. She is um, always full of life, very warm, very loving, going out of her way um, to do things. And also Lillian, so I think that warmth trickled in right from, from the mother. But uh, we continue to pray for Mr. Nakenda, that the Lord may um, strengthen him during this difficult time. And the children and the whole Nakenda family as a whole would greatly miss uh, Mama June. Um, let me also give uh, an older member of the family the microphone. He'll give us a few, a few words. Uh, I'm here. My name is Chikoyo Daniel. And I represent three families here. One is the family of Stephen Rivogo in the U.S., who is not here, unfortunately, because he didn't make it. But Na Nafi is here to represent Stephen Rubogo family. And I'm also representing a famous family, the Rubogos, Justice David Rubogos Alete, who happened to be the father of Stephen Rubogo, who is in the US. I'm also representing another family of Mzei the late, Mzei Eridadi Titon Suvuga, of Chitetika, who happens to be the father of Sarah Rubogo, the wife of Justice Rubogo. And I happen also to be the brother of Sarah Rubogo. First, we received the message when Mama passed away. And I talked to Stephen in the U.S. Stephen has sent his condolences and apologies for not being here, but he's here with you in spirit. Lucky enough, Stephen was able to travel here to see Mama a few months back. And Stephen sent us the photograph she took with Mama around the veranda here. Very nice pictures on our platform. And we really we are very happy to see that reunion of Nafi, Stephen, and Mama the Nagenda families. At least we thank the Lord that Stephen was able to travel back here and meet Mama. Also, I want to thank Nafi. Because Nafi has been a very, very, very good wife to our son. And not only good, but you know, for us, we see Stephen as a younger boy. Stephen was not here when he was a younger boy. But these days he has grown to be a, a respectable gentleman. <laughs> it must have to do with Nafi. It must have to, have to do with the Nafi. Nafi, thank you very much. Thank you for grooming Stephen to become a gentleman. <laughs> Stephen came from a very good family, the Justice Lubogo family. But he needed somebody to push him to become a good gentleman. We have, in our family, there's one thing which we always remember, Nafi. You are waiting to Stephen. That wedding left a very big mark in our family. It was, I think, the best wedding we've ever had. <laughs> and we live to remember it. Mm. Nafi was smashing, she was beautiful, as she still is. Then, on behalf of uh, the Rubogos, it is unfortunate most of the Rubogos seniors have rested. Even my Muko, just David Rubogo, rested some years back, and most of them have rested. But one who is remaining 
Richard Rogo, he had promised me he would be here. He may be on the way coming. But at least Madam Joy Rogo is here, the wife of Richard Rogo. So the Rogo seniors are represented by Joy Rogo. Then we who come from Chitetika, we, are, we hold the Rogos very dear to our family. Abakuruwe Chitetika baantumye nebabatumira nyo. Mkuru wa fe ya sikira tata wa feta sobede kujana ye mkosefu kosefu. Na ya wandi se baluwa ye. Ireka ando waze Dennis. Waji wa deyo. Ya wandi se baluwa ye. Ira na basasira nyo uroku firu wakono. Of course, I can't go away without also saying something personal about me. For me, I am very much attached to Namtamba, this tea estate, to the Nagenda families, and to the Namtamba community. I used to work here in the 1980 up to 86, no, from 76 up to 80. I was the senior agriculture officer in charge of the whole of this area. And I used to do a lot of agriculture extension in this area. And I know a number of people here. So a number of people here are my farmers, whom we had great discussions. And for me, because of my training, as I did agriculture, but then I later on I did agribusiness. I was always emphasizing with the farmers here to do what we call cost-benefit analysis. And I was very happy with the Namtamba farmers because they knew what they were doing. Profitable what? Agriculture. And the Nikenders, during the war, which came which brought the Tanzanians here. For me, when I was a Okachi officer, my neighbor was the OC police Mitiana. And I gave him a lift from Mitiana up to here. You know, when the Sabasaba started making noise in Mitiana, many people had to run away. And we came to Namtamba here. But the Reverend Nyezi, early in the morning, took away the OC because people were not comfortable with a policeman around at that time. Kano Nyezi took him early in the morning. Then rumor went around that the soldiers in Mitiana were looking for Chikoyo who took away the OC police. So I was hiding here, and one day the Tanzanians came here. But and we were in the, uh, the school down there. But then they told us, when they came and found one of their own here, they were very happy. And they, they quickly, what? Went away. So I have very good memories of this place. We don't have much time. I want to convey our condolences to Stephen, our in-law. Our hearts are with you. Th thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bakodomi Bafe, the Lubogos, Namtamba, has evolved really. Era to chayagala consultants yo sebo. Na ina lisme to jakusango li mkodome wafe. Anjagala kuita abade chairperson wafe, Michael MC, mwami wasula, oje gojako sa seconds atano mutano. Adaka kwa seda chike muko zu want to usher in Jehovah Witnesses. Abana be na mtamba mwena be ready to come here and show some love to the mourners. Gubo wali ya kumiembe janti juni. And scrambled eggs. I want to see you here for a minute and then you walk back. Thank you. Mulibanji, they'll be led by uh, Honorable Dr. Frank Habineza Okuveranda. 
Then I'm Wadiria Mathias Mpuga. Oweri Suwano. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jack. Uh, fellow mourners, Nzize nange kutusa bubaka bwafe okufirwa June. June alina ebintu byante kamunga bakafumbiriganwa ne Steven. Atenga ti yabingamba na enze na bijja na bikopa. June ali mulungi nyo. Of course ne wafida bade mulungi beautiful, very beautiful young lady. At the time, John, uh, Stephen married her. Kakati nagena anga yoku Malcolm X, Jevasu la anga ne Stephen. Nga Stephen ni manager wange, tulikola mnyuganda oxygen. Metuko, netu bonding so much. Na hene mpulira mulinti, nteku kufuno mchala, omuru nje nyo, nga June. And I thank God, yes, I got a beautiful woman here from Namtamba. Atena inza no kubanga singa ne June omuru Kakati, echilala chena mwiga kukwa gala. Yanja gala nyo. Atene mchala wangi na mwa gala. Ilaba badiba mkwano nyo. Kamba sese katono. Kwa asa gala kwa gila vinji. Walwe chinu chena kola sichi juki la bulunji. Nemu kamo wangu oyo Joe Steven na genda. Na angoba. Yampita muofisi yenga mwenyivu nyo. Ngane baluwa mazo jiwa andika no jisa ini nga na ngamba sa ini nga wano kopi ya nge sigara fairo eno iyo mkugobi. Eh! Ngamba tena akola chumuka muanga angobie. Kakati nengenda kudesiki yango kili ya ringe vintu ya nge ngende. Ne mtima nekunga ati haa gendo labe juni omgane tiswachona angobie. Ne mba sinawana kufa muofisi. Ate Steven na ampita muofisi ye. Nangati walua mistake jenko ze mbaluwe no jimpe. Na ajisigaza. Then secretary we na jana ngamba. Ntia ah, takugobie. <laughs> Nengamba yivade telepathe. Junior atege denti vangobie na intercedinga. Kupatu alivamu kwa no nyo. Kale ni tukola. Kutusa mwami na gendalu ya vayo mu Uganda Oxygen na tuleka yo. Actually nga fetumita the man who benefited. Kuvanga. I have benefited working with uh, Uganda Oxygen Limited. Nekati mazo mlimu. Ngeenze kweko zese na mtamba. So netu nicknaming the man who benefited. Era period yoji ya malako. <laughs> nga fetu muita. Era resignation yoji. Nga tumita the man who benefited. Kale tufiri duanyo June. Kuwanga abade chaku abidako chaku igidako era fe. Ne mchala wange, tuwade tuwe gomba nyo as a couple. Ilanga tuwa gala nyo kuwela nti tuwa kopa. Ila tufubyo bakopa. Kakati ewe ewe gambo, ewe vude mfe, wawasula. Na at the same time nga MC. Urobu debo talina. Ngenda kuita mbubaka obwandi kebo tufunye. Na emu nzikirize. Ngenda kuwela mbufunze buachikacha waguru. Kubanga. O ebi nitu bitabuse. Tunyumidua nyebi ogedua. Bitu ziza mnyamanyi. Kakati waluobu no obubaka obubu dewa mchala uh, Joan Hall, Bristol, UK. Uh, atuweleza obubaka nechi gambo okuva muluka esula bili olunyiri ole kumi. Nti don't be afraid. I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all the people. Kale, evi gambe evi otu vinyweze kubanga bitu zamu wa maanyi. Obako obulala buvude wa Stephen Mutiaba na buo eranga bitu zamu wa maanyi era mwami Stephen Mutiaba na ye na atu wa amabugo gami tuwale etano otukoze bulunji gatu yambi mkuzika. Obako bulala buvude wa Honorable Judith Nabakova, minister wa Ibyettaka. Na ye akubagiza nyo, irana atuweleza mavugo, gamituwa alo kumi. Obako bulala buvude na mtamba SS, nga mwami serunjo jifredi, omkuluwe somiru ya utadeko mkono, 
Nasa asira nyo kufiru wapu no. Na mabugoga mitualo musamvu. Na mtamba tia state uh, and dairy farm. Bunono nubaka njabuso mamuzikiri ze kubanga wawa no. Abantu ba Steven. Abakozi bana mtamba tia state and dairy farm limited. Nga wakule mbedua manager kanyike Steven, batu soo waka wawe woku wagiza mkama wawe Steven Peter Nagenda, uloku vivu wako mwagalu wawe June Ann Nagenda Fox. Ya tuvude kumaso. Basa sidenyo mwami John Nagenda, avana na mtevi lili ya ne William, ne Namfka, wamu ne familia ya vanda Nagenda yuna. Basi, baba sibili deza buli ya bili mwesa tu Era ni watu wana mabugo Gami tuwalo abili mwengu mibili mwitano Buno waka buvude Mchach of Uganda Na mtamba Health Center 3 Nga butele duwa ko omkono gwa Chairman wa board Na vonga batu soku sasira kwa manye nyo Eri familia ya Stephen Peter Nagenda Neva Nagendo kutuwa ila wamu na avana Mukama avagumye Obako bulala buvude Familia ya late John Huntington Baka Na vono ni na vono mzikiri ze mbusome mbujufu Condolence messages. Message. Uh, the family of the late John Bakar extend their deepest condolence message to Uncle Stephen Nagenda, William, Namfi, Namtebi, and the entire family for the loss of Aunt June, who has been. Hey, handwriting. Not only a family member, but a loving mother to us all. She will be greatly missed, but God knows all. We place you in God's hands for strength and hope that we shall see Aunt June again. Wufudembabaka. Kakati, netuzako waka wufude. Mutele uh, duwa kwa mkono kwa Dr. Christine Mugwanya Kadama, chairman waba na mtamba. Nga na voba tusa <coughs> kusasila kwa wabu. Kunondo vwa mfu nyo sinza busoba, pages bili namba. Eda buzito era dala kubanga bawele za mabugo gabu kadebu bili, mwe mituale tano muka nana, okuyamba, kuku nteka teka zoku zi kazi noze tulimu. Eda mutusonyi webalua nene nyune inga ya makuru. Hira tuja jida moji soma Nga tufude wana um, Uwako ulala bufude Entebe Junior Primary School Daycare and Nursery Nga butele duwa kwa mkono kwa Mwalye Masiche Rogers Head Teacher Hira nga na ya tusa Okusasi la kwe Hira ya venyumba Nibate kamwa mavugoga mitualo makumi ya vili Okutia ambako Uwako ulala, buvude na mtamba demonstration school. Lione someru, nina chendi juki lako wachi. Eee, kalu laiwe serabi. Eee, kano ni wenda ba disclaimer, kama favors. Kakati, <laughs> na mtamba demonstration school, mchala wangeji ya somera. Na buvu wa wereza, obubaka buwawe, obusasira, Era nebaweleza mabugo gami tuwalo esatu wedu. Chitetika na, na angavo kasanga ti municipality. Na buba weleza obubaka obusasira uh, avenju uroku firwa. Eranga batadeko mkono Ibrahim Musoke Mesara Lubogo. Kuruwaba nawe. Tuweleza mabugo. Okuyamba mkuzika. Na ino tibambuli de muendo. Ndoze ya funye balua. Ya zifunye. Saba sajaka waka wangale.
Wewe lenyo so kama wange mkodomi wenna mtamba Michael MC kale non sababa na baita mungalo za Aunt June mwenna Dr Frank mwenna uh, duku duku aliwa uh, okay please hurry up Kalisa Kairu I saw Alice Gemma Joy eh hey. Aha, ne Marianne yaze. Omanyi bankuti dobuta malo wade dachika. Eh, ya oja kogera mu seconds satu. Eh mu. Banga ambient ye wede ko. Kati kanoni ayenzo kumpa punishment. Bana mu de ngaba na muli banji. Eh? <laughs> Duku, I think your favorite friend was in Kugwa. Kugwa wali. Sagala <laughs> kugerabe mwakola. Aha, Frank. Alice, mungwe, yeah? Um, yeah. Uncle Steven, Aburuganda mwena, Nemi Kwanu, Family Yona, Aboku Mintena Mutamba, Chitaro Nyo, Echa Anti Juni. Mauli le gatu, gatu nyo 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 nyo, Okuli Anti Anti Juni, Atufudemu, I think at what day, Naya that was a Mukama, Tiagenze, against the Burundi, I had to win a Subi, Tiagenze, in paradise, over to Jamusanga in paradise, Chira Chamas Okira. Fliba and Jamu Vilabe, Auntie Juni, the Tula Vida, and the Naja Wanga Nimiaka Kuminesa, Nalimuton and Akamala P seven, Nanda Vida, Era. And what we are, if you move your gun, you move your jam wind on you, the kids of Cray Muri, at him having the school fees, is that where it anger. Auntie Juni Kunze, Yan degrees the chin to a chairman in Yonga Chudam Muri, a choke a gallon you, a environment, a year, a year, a year, a E chochebi yobuto ni nakala kuchoge lako ila msanso niwe katono kubanga uh, cha impacti nga sibula mungu wange nzeka na wala banji nyo kubanga wano tuwa yetu ina mkorwa wa mzimanyi kazifa wa majani nga zija wabukorwa uh, zika muje mkwale wabunyonji ila mwabude nga uja mwabuge lako wabunyonji wano ila nga tuinda ama inja wano utuleka mwa amazi Ubunyoni, <laughs> Kati umu anti juu nasa nganzi ni muku yomba na wafu deku factory. Tiba frangubi ya kagamba bitufu. Wachi mwini muku wa msoto waba kozechi. Kati ya wata nikuwa kula chokumu puliriza. Ni waka mungu le kitu. Gume era ote guina guguruma. Gume ere wa guru. Era nga wabajia. Waichia subasa nga wu. Nga wabaku tunuli ya nga kukuma. Nga wabaji tau nga mga mgeene nga mgeenda. Kati ya chintu ya cho. Uh, chari mwintu bie ngambi. Evia nyambo kuwa ufuna. Jibata love for environment. Ukwagala. Uh, Evi muli. Ukwagala emiti. Okwagaleze obusoro bonno bwaberanga wano eje misota nera byonna era ne bivamwe ekintu ekyamanyi nyo nga uh, binarindi mu secondary then nemera mu bibata wa drive clubs era ne mitani kanwe nali una uh, environmental clubs bina someranga ate bina tukerwa era ne ne mbikola mu nyo muri mugwa manyi nikola bonne energy yabyo ate no ruva nyuma ne kwa ne political party obwe kibina kye byobufuzi katujita democratic green party of rwanda ngachi era nga cyakurinda Ebyensi byonna nga muri wensoro nabantu nebiti byonna era kati mweche kibina kicyavamu ne nonde bwo kubera mu bakaba parliament kati ni member of parliament ejo na mirimu jani ya anti juni era tumwebaza nyo era te yanda bilira nyo nampa magezi wa denali ngaba bunkuze ngira ngamba franka be careful franka politics si byangu nga mpa magezi era nga mama tiyande kera Gavira nange nga nkubira simu nga ngambo lyota atenga azjukiza eche din love for Jehovah yakaranga nyo mukama yatwigiza din wa nofena nga tutsoma tujiza bible 
ba brother batte na labo natuwa manyi nto tugera nga mu congregation ye Kampala yonna ate chintu chokwa gramu kama chatu yamba nyo fena kubanga twabaza mu kama twalo bandu bafe abalala twa kula nabo abamu batu vamu ulamu ye mu kama na watu kuma ne kubanga anti junior tuyigiriza discipline ya discipline nga na tuyigiriza mpisa ukwagala abantu era nafe tubikali nga ne tuli mu families za fena twagala abantu tuine mpisa ate that we hope she will live on ya uh, memory ye bya kula yonna uh, mungabo mubiraba bichali mufera memory will carry on to live on uh, may her rest in peace kama aba bene namwe mwinache mulabe bane okay marian just name all of them yes yes uh bangu sabyo kubo kubo balaga tanikire uh wana kairo fabian eh, na ye msajja wa manyi ma anti ma, marian fox, fox? naye bambi twarife na nenga mukuru okusinga katono nenga abajukira pimbi bandanga mucha jukira pimbi echande chirungi echito tasaba ku dem mama wa pimbi ono then uh, tumukunde tumu uh, naye bambi abade anti junior mwagala nyo sister joy wano sister joy uh, kapisi bambi twakula fe na wano same agreement ne nafi ne namutebi na wiliamu yeah ya yeah. mkama amkunga na amweze jema ona sisa jema ona anti junior mtanga bruje frank get to the microphone titukulira olivia olivia yes uh mwebaza ona mwebaza mwebaze gilbert Aris Gapisi Kalisa Kamtanga Kalistas Namukede Olivia Namukede Kalistas yate na yali wa manyi nyokubanga ate yerabiranga ne nyumba yanko Steven ne Kampala e chisugu from here yabara trusted ne nyumba yanko Steven Duke Kamtanga Duke man na the bread 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 okuva mu Tanzania ne Kenya Oro yetu akulanganya ne daruna ye. Nenga bwana mulunji nyo. Um just. Ono sonya na chironde, ono nkugwa naye musajja wa fiwa amanyi twazina ngana yo mpira. Ntebe Henry. Ntebe Henry. Ntebe Henry. Christopher. Christopher Sempira. Bwana bogede. Yeah. Of course nafi mwamulabye gwadda sister wa form kuru. Atenga bambi nafi. Sebo mukuru mpuga nze speaker Rudeo Kuflo. Yes. Eh. Eh. Katika tuwe Marion, Marianne. Marianne. Akazinda lo edda chikemu please. Kalisi. Atayogera mu Luganda. Nelo tofukamira. Tofukamira. Sija kufukamira lero. Okay. Mbala msiza abasajja naba naba chala naba nyabo okuja kulumbe lwa mama wafe chitalo chitalo nyo nze anti june ne uncle steven banku manga nchali miaka nga mukaga nze mami wange gwe manyi ne daddy wange gwe manyi uncle steven wano wendi gwe ntu sebya na anti june ne uncle steven naba zukulumba wadde kati nange ndi jaja inaba zukulumu nana <laughs> mwe bale nyo kuja mwe bale dala kale mkama bawo mukisa ataba bagumya ku nyonyo uncle steven nze nze nina changeze ngabwe mudayo banayo fuzi bafana na omwana kuta kazi ndalo nganda bampuga mu parliament eh hey, but i'm not surprised eh hey. we bale nyo dr frank uh, habineza omwana yakuli wali omwana gwe mutogedde omugenzi claudia nje kogere chintu chino akuba ko john taliwo claudia twabake mundu ya scott yanko john gwe gwaso ko kwata ku mundu nitukirire yo wansi nenga tetumanyi jikozesa kale ndo naye mwana yakuziwa aunt june um <coughs> okay okay obaka okuva eri abalimi ba majani okusasira uh, bawezo lubugulwa mitwale etano nzina wano dr samat kokatende yaweleza kwatira mwebale nyo ndo zamula ba majani gafenga gadao na ulje ntuse mitwale satu kati musabire nkuba tweyongere nsaba okuita abana benna mutamba ngaba kulembedwa mu dr samatiko 
you have two minutes. Then I'll call uh, Bate and the Jehovah Witness. Dr. Samat, wherever you are, what do you do? When you meet T-shirt, you get me off. We're going to be we are kindly uh, let's use two minutes then uh, brother Bate you'll have to come with your friends because you're a friend to Auntie June yes you can use that microphone thank you Bakungwa zibana femina. Protocol observed. Mkadu wa fe Steve na gena ne family. Tutu sa uksasi rakwa fe. Gaba na bina mtamba. Chia personi wa fe. HB na chia chapa na mtamba. Ye doctor. Sise Kadama, e Christina, Rinyari, Sise Christina Kadama, Ira Muguanya, Twaba de Nayuano, Rakure Guru, Nay or Remini Munats over at Okodayo. A Gwenimi de Nayuano, a vice chair person who are fee. A Chivina Chino Chavana Bona, Avena Mutamba. Era nga okusokira dala tweba za family ya banagenda nti namtama nga we muze mwenna mujira byenti kasozi kalunji na yenga buli ajaye boza town ina mtamba yo eriruddawa na ajituka muddi kubana mtamba ya yatikirira nenga abantu bamanyi town ina mtamba weri family ya nagenda batwa itaka Ikaz, au maso ge duariro, maso ga church, ekazi satu, tu zimbeo, tauni ena mtamba. Ira, nebatu wa mochapa, ira nebatu gamba tulikube, tulijeko. Nebatu wa ekemu, tu zimbeo museum, yena mtamba. Nga omulamwa kwe kukuma enono ne bia five yon na ebia namtamba na dalam kusasa nye njiri. Nga esimbuka enamtamba. Era na cho chapa nga bachitua. Nebatua half acre o kuzimbako namtamba police station. Era Aba singa mjira vieruda wali, tulikulevo ya kusereka. Nti, avantu wena mutamba, wagaliza na mutamba, basonze, ba, ba netuzimba. Ilane bakuasa DPC, ovuna njizibwa, okulawa angatufu na hawa sirikale, ilaba batusubiza. Nti, echizimbe echo, chimazo kuzimbiwa, chiliko rooms kumi, kuliko ne sales satu, uh, abantu bachi uri la neye tuwe nza kubamu gaga ngate tulina security so tuwe waza nyo di mama june abade mpaji mkulambula project sezo atela ngabaa tutela kone ntanduka milioni tano tuwe wenga bintu kutamu mwena abaze kutu welekele lako mama june tupa sabanti wetupa tutandiso kubatu ukirila Tuba saba obu wagizi mu kuzimba museum. Tuba saba by investors okujo kuzimba mna mutamba town egendo kuzimbiwa. Atela ni batu chiriza no kusima amazi Rotary Club. Natu hita mu Rotary ya ni wafe, familia ya wanyenyezi. Baja ni batu simida amazi miezi ngevili ya mabega. Gari wansi hili. Taka Norwecho. Tuliba sanyu funyo orwebi korwebi vyo na ila tukungu wa gide wa mu ni family ukulaba anti tukubibu wako mama John. Obaka wafe obuwandike 
Bavuiriza da, tukwa deko amabogo, milioni bili, ane sente ziguamu. Thank you, thank you. Kama, haviri na mwe. Thank you, Honorable Samatiko. Banae, chibela cha uli ya zamanya. Baganda Bant June Webali, kindly come up. You have one minute to talk to us, then tweet a brother Bate, ne Jehovah Witness from Mitiana. Batambu de Kuvakinya. Karibuni. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Anna Martin. This is my younger brother, Kim. We come from Nairobi, and it's such a sad, sad situation. We all meet together. Um, of course, our history with Auntie June and Uncle Stephen goes such a long, long time ago. I personally was a bridesmaid at their wedding many years ago, but we come with a lot of love, condolences, from our family in Kenya, the whole family in general from Kiricho, and friends and family. Who would have loved to make it, but it's not always possible. Our deepest condolences to Uncle Stephen, Namfi, and uh, Namtebi, and William, and of course, Auntie Gemma and Auntie Elizabeth. I believe Marianne is here also somewhere. Mm -hmm. You too, Marianne. But all of you, we really, it's difficult to even say words. I can't still believe Auntie June's not there anymore. May she rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, the Martin. Um, greetings, everybody, from, uh, from Kenya. Um, I've been to Namtamba before. Um, unfortunately, today it's for this purpose. Um, of course, my sister sent the condolences to the Naganda family, Uncle Steve, uh, uh, Auntie June's sisters, Auntie Gemma, um, Elizabeth, Marianne, of course, there, and her children, uh, Namfuka, <laughs> Namtebi, and uh, William. Um, in some way, Auntie, Auntie June, actually, it, it, you know, when we say auntie, it, it, it's, 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 it's really auntie. Um, my mom and uh, Auntie June, in, in, in every way, were sisters. So for our family, this is uh, very, very um, emotional for us because Auntie June is, well, my auntie. But anyway, thank you very much. Um, and Pauline Sana. Asante sana. Ouna kana mbayo bb two six seven d. You can check where you parked. I think I'm not going to be able to. The new AZ double six four v. You left lights on. Hurry up. You might not go to Kampala. Ah, thank you so much. Those are relatives to Aunt June. Mweba lenyo. Bana fe njaga la kutoa la okweto nda. Eri chita fe mkato nda. Mkuano gua family no. Kwanuga family no Bishop Mutebi atsani sokula ba tu kwa ni dzanyo ulwalero na angi sabi tega debulunji na yemba den tu soko saba ukuveri budi montu yenanti tu jaku tula fe na tula be bana fe abaja hova witness ngaba tuala in the next session kali nonge alaku saba brother bate and Jehovah witness from Mitiana. District, ojo yogere eri abakungu bazi atera na mamutuwa bubaka. Mwebali nyo, mwebali detala. You like another microphone? No, this will work. Uh, uh, I'll be brief. Uh, I, I first met June in 1968. I was a small boy. I learned from her how to look after insects. Uh, we used to have another friend called Jeje. Well, I think he was connected to the Martin family. 
and we used to tie a string around the bumblebee of each vuvumira. Kwa kiswahili tulikuwa tunacheza na lingo lingo. Katinga tuzisiba kakagwa, gazetu ulula, and we used to tie, and then they go round and round and round. So Auntie June used to come with the scissors, cut it, and say, look after the animals, please. So way back, yeah, she taught me to take care of insects. The Yanji Grizokrabi Revi Solo. And uh, fast forward from 1968, I meet her again as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. 20 years, 21 years later, I meet her as a Jehovah's Witness. My wife was teaching Edith Kakoko Bujejezi, the Bible, and here comes Auntie June, and I thought, I have seen you somewhere. And when I tried to remember, she said, I am June, but from the Fox family. And I said, I know you, so we, from then on, we related. Uh, in the early 90s, we used to teach a few people in Kalangolo the Bible. Kalangolo Bible, but whenever we went to Kalangalo, we used to pass by here. We went to Kalangalo, we Ndi mugumuna ye na afuka. Neche anjo. Ebi nitu mama. Bia hava someseza. Bia hava bia hava someseza. Mude yu. Mubi revising. Bia vitu lete desa nyo. Bia vitu lete doko vera wano. Uncle Stephen, we are sorry. But we know we'll be together all through. Thank you. Ndi wano kuru emitiana, ichibina chie emitiana, Luganda. Uh, ngeenda kuoge koze so buseke ndi sivutono nyo, uruwa kabi. Nti evisinga obunji, babi oge di. Mbutufu na adete gese vitu evi oku ogira kevi wirako. Nye ngeenda kuogira yevi nitu viviri vioka. Aba kiliriza, uh, yechi krista, nzikiriza yechi krista ayo, momako yesule yeku minebili. Oru nyiri oruwa satu, muoru mu, noruwa satu mwebili. Mubutufu, doge la kubintu viviri, jioni, biya wada singo kumanyika kenyo. Muzikiri za oru ganda atusomire chia wa andikibwe chochimu choka, de chochikomenti ngeko, tukonkurudimu. Era, oyaga langa ya kuwa katonda u, no mutima gogo na, no ulamu gogo na, na magezi gogo na, na manyi gogo na. Uluwasa tumolumu, ede didako liedi no, oyaga langa muliru wana u, ngabu we ya gala. Te wali teka lisingaga nubukuru. Mwetegerezevi mwete nitu joni biyawa da singo kumanyika kenyo, wabia tuwade tu singo mwa gala kenyo. Mubutufe chiso kira dala, Kwe kwa gala ya kuwa katonda, abada ya gala nyo, omutonzi we ya kuwa. Mbutufu nga vulio mwachiraba. Echoku vili, abada ya gala abantu, obamu linano awi, abantu vona. Baganda ve, banyina, abomu vili, abakristayo, bona, bievi ntwevyo. So chikuru nyo, okuwe ranga tugo vila, obatweke nenya mateka gavili, ama kuru. Mubutufu wetu nageke nenya, awatari kubusa busa, tujia kubane nkola gana, eyo kurusegiri, eno jenyo, ere nyuevu, no mtonzi wafe, ya kuwa, mwevalinyo. Sebo, kala walabao mkolo guno, tukwewa zanyo tuwa kasera kano wadenga, sika sera kangu nyo, ila mkasera kano kenyini, Mutukiriza tugende kunteka teka yomkoro ogendo kutuwala mwanyina foyo. Edanga tugenda kuhuliza embozi. Yesiga mzidwa kubia wandikibwa. Na inga tatuna baji genda mu. Nkaka santi buli omuya funye mpapula zino. Kwekuli ya nyimba. Uwa abali naka utaboka no. Kulupapula ure kumi. Um, kumi na umukaga. Uwe wali ya nyimba zitugendo kubia nga tukozesa. Na ye tugenda kusoka na uruyimba. Yeah, sorry. So. Yeah, the yeah, 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 it's possible. Yeah, 
ya tugenda kuimba oluyimba lo 15 mu olumu oluno mutoga mati alibaita no ruva nyuma tujja kuaniriza muganda fe agenda okutukulembera okutuwe mboze eno Brian Bennett olimi eranga agenda kuyambibwako muganda fe bate David Semukoko oluyimba 15 mu olumu Hello, bakungu wazi wana fetufunye mo kutata aganizbo uwe nkuba Ne mjigumire, tugenda kukiriza session eno genda maso Na yenga tetunaba kutandika Nsaba okutege zabuli muntuali wano Tumetunaba tugende magombe tuja kukoma wano Family haba teke kedeche misana Bane temugenda anjala, katuo mkise kanisa, ogenda maso Ya, tusobolo kuhimilia. Tusobolo kuhimilia fena. Dene tu yambu sama lobo zigafe. Eri ya kuwa katonda.
kula ono kusaba kwa chuo vera wanga katu kula ono kusaba katonda wa fe omwaga si ya kuwa katonda mchisera chino tuwe mbeka masogo tukwe baza uroku tuwa bovumu mchisera chino chitali changu nila tukusabo yongero tugumia na tuwa amanyi Tuza kusima kufejori kubanga tusobo sezo kukubira mduwele zao nga kukubira zao kumale banga liya maze Atela chitafe tukusabo yongero kuma na dalaba na, na mutebi Nebane kusingira dalaba mkade wafe Steven na genda Asiga demo chububale cha manye nyo Oyongero mkuma no mula bilira Chitafe asiga le nga achari mula mbulonji Mkade kano tukenda kuhuliza embozi ekwatagana uh, kukufa kwa mwanyinafe uh, juni na genda tukusabwo tusobwe sete keye bilowozo byone bigenda tubulirirwa kuva mu kitabo kye kitukuvu bible era tuberenga tusobola kubitambuliza ko bulambu afe ekisera kino toke bili na mekono jya itafe tukusabanga tuitere mwana ukaka ka face kristo amina muzikiriza nyani lizena te muganda wange Brian Barnett Olimi ne muganda wange Febate David agenda muyambako wa uh, kuvunula olulimi fena tuberenga tusobola okuganyulwa munte kateken oyandisibwa nnyo mugana fe Brian Barnett I can just imagine June looking on at this uh, if she was here looking out at this um, going on and thinking oh well it's raining but let's see what is positive about this let's do the Let's see the funny side of it because that was the kind of person June was. Nkuba akafana nyi nga Juda agamba nti wakubadde nkuba etonya bine bigenda maso na yitunonye ekikulu ekitusanyusa mu kino nga June yeyongera maso. We have heard some touching remarks about our dear friend and sister June and uh, every single part of what has been said today has been the truth about June. In this uh, talk, we are going to focus on a very sure hope that June had. Just going to give you a little background of how I came into contact with June. Kamba buli leko bitono engeri jena jyo kumanya June. It was in 1998 and we came here myself and uh, my wife Rowena for no. Namfuka's introduction. Twajja wana mulukumu lwenda kyenda mu munana nga tuzo kulaba okwanjula kwa Namfuka. I came here with my cousin Edith Bukimbunyenyezi. Najja wano ne mwanyi naze Edith Bunyenyezi. When we met June, she, June, she welcomed us with open arms like we'd known each other for decades. And from that time we became friends. She would visit us when we came to uh, when she came to Kampala in our home in Muyenga. In fact, it was June that asked uh, my wife Rowena if she could study the Bible with uh, Namutebi. Era yali June ya saba mchala wange Rowena. Tinaero wacho mwano oyo tasoma na na Rowena mchala wange. June came into contact with Jehovah's Witnesses when they were living in Lesotho, in Maseru Lesotho, in, in the 1980s. June ya jio kumanya bajuli ya wabaya kuwa, muluku muluenda chenda muenda angabali ya Maseru Lesotho. And she was baptized as one of Jehovah's Witnesses in 1986. Na batizi wanga Jehovah's Witness, wawo mjuli ya wabaya kuwa, mwaka luku muluenda chenana mukaga. Well, for many years, she was the only one of Jehovah's Witnesses in Namutamba. Yali mjiro wa ya kuwa muye ka wane Namutamba. But she spoke the Bible truths to any that she met. Na ye ya bulida anga abantu ben Namutamba wane na buligwe ya sanga anga nga mbulida. In fact, the evidence of that is very clear today with all those who have known her, the young ones that she looked after 
She, they always heard Bible truths from her. She got a Bible study uh, locally, uh, Sister Josephine Sebagala. Yasomane Sister Sebagala, Bible. And uh, they. Yet, no. They became the two witnesses in Namutamba continuing uh, to preach the kingdom message. And uh, we pray that uh, Sister Sebagala will hope will carry on this work that Tos, they were doing together. June she loved people. That's been seen today. She loved children and making flower arrangements. And, and deco was her passion. She was a very loyal and faithful person. She was very positive and had a very nice sense of humor. She had many challenging situations yeah, in her life, in but she always looked on the positive side yeah, of things. She loved Jehovah God. And that is why we can say that losing her is very sad. And of course, when someone dies, it's only natural that we should grieve. And June's husband, Stephen, and his children have been grieving over the last two weeks. Mommy, Stephen, Nagenda, Nava, Nava, June, or Nava, but they mukunyolwa, Nakubiwobe, a bangal in Orio, no Kuvaya to Gendako. The Bible is full of, experience, of accounts of people who grieved over the loss of their loved ones. You may remember Abraham when he grieved over the death of Sarah, his wife. Then there was Jacob over Rebekah. And David, who grieved over his friend Jonathan. And even Jesus Christ grieved over the death of his dear friend Lazarus. Even though he knew he was going to resurrect him a short while. Our Creator, Jehovah God, Katonda wafe yakuwa Katonda. He sees our grieving. Atulabanga tunyorwa. And he pro promises to comfort those who grieve. Notice these words in Psalm 147 and verse 3 about the feelings of Jehovah. There it says, He, that is Jehovah, heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. Wagamba, the Aonia, Ava Menye Se O Mutima, Asiva Ebiwundu Yahweh. We can see there that Jehovah cares for the welfare of those who are grieving. Our Tulavanti Yakua, Afayo, Eriabo, Avari Mokonorwa, or Okfirwa. He binds up their wound as someone who is injured and needs help to recover. Now, we grieve because death is not something that any of us desire. 
we know that we are going to die but we don't look forward to it tumanyit tulibalo mutulifa nete tukwesunga in fact the opposite is true ekitufu kiri nti ekitali kufa je kiri our desire is to continue living okwagala kwa femu mitima kweyongera kubawo na kubawo ngate tufa in fact it was never our creator's purpose that people should die okufa techali chegenderwa cha katonda wafe ya totonda when he created adam and eve we yakola we yatonda adam ne eva he purposed that they should live forever on the earth yatege kababere we mirembe jonna kunsikuno he instructed them to multiply and cultivate and look after the earth na gamba bazale bale balabirira olusuku era balwe yagaliremu but in order to keep living na yakusobola kusigalanga bachali balamu Jehovah gave them a very simple command. Yakuwa namba 1. Ekiragiro kimu kyokka ekitali kya kizibu nyo. And that was not to eat of the tree that was in the middle of the garden of Eden. Na bagamba nti omuti ogwo ekibale kiguva kyo chomte muchikwata ko. They had everything for life. Ebirala byonna yabibawa ebibabesa ombulamu. But obeying that command, na yakugumira teke eryo would show a sign of appreciation for his rulership and his creatorship singa bagumire teke eryo kyandi badde nti balaga nti basima obufuzi bwe no butonzi bwe however as we know from the scriptures nayenga wetu manyinga we byawandikibwa ebyedda adam and eve disobeyed that command adam ne muchara wa eva ba teke eryo bali sura and it led to their deaths awonno okufa ne kutandika okuba mu lulyo lwa abana ba bantu now regarding this occasion just notice what the bible says in genesis chapter 3 katutunulire verse 19 katutunulire olugero olwo mu sura eya lubereberye sura mu kitabo cyo lubereberye sura yo kusatu olunyi 10 there it says In the sweat of your face you will eat bread until you return to the ground for out of it you were taken for dust you are and to dust you will return Muntu yozo mu maso go monolira nge mere okutusa ruoli da mutaka kubanga omomwe wajibwa kubanga oli mfufu era mu mfufu molida So Jehovah created Adam from the dust and he was to return to the dust when he died yakuwa yajja adam mutaka chokolwe chibi namugambo yakudda yo mutaka the sad consequences of their sin is that all those who came after them all their children inherited this sin echava mu mwecho ekisaliza obeke nnaku nti abana bonna abatandiko okuva mu adam baava mu adam ne eva ngabali na obubenye fu bwe chibi they would also die nekitegeza anti buli muntu yenna aliva mu katiba ka adam alino kufa now this is what romans 5 verse 12 says Era, about this ere kitabo cha cha balumi esura 5 olunyire 12 well to rogera ku nsonge eyo that is why just as through one man sin entered into the world and death through sin And so death spread to all men because they had all sinned. Bwekitio okuyitira mu muntu omu ekibi kyayingira mu nsi okufane kuyitira mu kibi okufane kubuna ku bantu bonna kubanga bonna bayonona. So everyone that has been born on the earth has Buli, died. No wacho nti buli muntu yena azali dwa wano ku nsi ngavudde mu Adam azafa However, God, God's purpose that mankind should live forever has not changed. Naye ekigendero kya katonda nti omuntu ayino kubera wano ku nsi omirembe jonna tekichukanga. Namute be referred to a verse in the Bible a very wonderful verse. Namute be ayogedde ku kyawandikibwa. Ekyawandikibwa ekirunje nnyo. Revelation 21 and verse 4. Okubikulirwe sura 2 mwe mu olunyirirwa okuna. 
And there the Bible says, Bible yao wetu we gamba. And he will wipe out every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more. Neither will mourning, nor outcry, nor pain be any more. The former things have passed away. Alisa angula buli ziga mumaso gawe, ero kufate kuli baona te. Ne wanku baddo kungu baga, ne wanku baddo kaba, ne wanku baddo burumi. Ebi ntuwebi oru bere verie, bilibabi wedeo. So we have this assurance that in the near future, Jehovah God is going to do away with death. It will be one of the former things that have gone past. But you may be wondering, do people go to another life somewhere else after they die? There has been much speculation about this point in many different areas. But we can expect that the creator of life and the one who handed out the punishment to Adam and Eve would inform us what happens to the dead. And indeed he has. Let's look at the scriptures of uh, uh, Ecclesiastes. Chapter 9, verse 5 and 10. And there it says, For the living know that they will die. Which is very true, isn't it? We know that we will die. But, but notice this. But the dead know nothing at all. Nor do they have any more reward because all memory of them is forgotten. And verse 10. Whatever your hands find to do, do with all your might. For there is no work, no planning, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave where you are going. Bulichintu omukono guo chegufuna okukola. Ukikolo anga na amanyi gogo na. Kubange magombe jogenda. Teri yomulimu wado kukola. Enteka teka, wado kumanya, wado amagezi. So we see this scripture. Clearly shows that at death someone ceases to exist. Chitegeza nte omuntu wafa, alekira okubawu. Na atabawu, nga weyaringa taza aliwanga. It is just as when Jesus died. Chiringa yesu weyafa. He ceased to exist for three days. Namala enaku satu nga tali mwonsi. But then Jesus was resurrected. Ne yesu nazuki ziwanate. Now this resurrection, it has great significance to mankind. Let's see what the Bible says about this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 22. Um, 15 verse 22. It says, for just as in Adam all are dying, so also in the Christ all will be made alive. So his resurrection guarantees that mankind will be resurrected dead mankind will be resurrected to life. Jesus demonstrated his power to resurrect while he was on earth. He resurrected three people while on earth. 
including his friend Lazarus. The Bible says in John 5, verse 28 and 29, it says, Do not be amazed at this, for the hour is coming in which all those in the memorial tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who did good things to a resurrection of life and those who practiced vile things to a resurrection of judgment. Agamba wati. Temwe unyachino. Kubange chisera. Chirija. Echisera kija. Bona bali muntana. Webali ulida edobo zirie. Kangende muruabili mo muenda. Webali ulida edobo zibe. Nebavamu. Abo abako lange bintu ebiru unji Bali zokira oblamu Na abo abako lange bintu ebibi Bali zokira omusango Yes The dead will raise at the voice Of Jesus Christ Ye abafu bali zokira Ngaba uli dedobozi lia Yesu Christu That is a fundamental teaching E yonjikiriza ya Bible It is what keeps us With a clear hope for the future E choche chitu we suvi Mumaso and it is what June firmly hoped for. So even though death is an enemy now, at the resurrection, death will have been conquered. And as we've read, Death will be done away with. Now, can we benefit from being here on this Sunday occasion? You know, such occasions remind us how brief life really is. Nevertheless, we we can derive some benefit from being here. See, it gives us time to reflect on how we are using our life. The Bible urges us to make a good name with Jehovah. A good name that he will remember. So that those ones can call on the can listen to the voice of Jesus. That good name is shown, is shown by the way we live, our actions and our speech. Well notice the, the advice that Jesus gave at Matthew chapter 6. And verse 19 to 20. It says that stop storing for yourselves treasures in heaven when neither moth no rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there your heart will also be mulekere awo okweterekere ebyobugagga kunsi ebiwuka we bibirira obutalage we bubunonyera era nababbi kwe babbira ne mweterekere ebyobugagga muguru ebiwuka je bitayinza kubirira wadde obutalage okubyonona era nababbi jebatayinza kugenda ne bali ne kubanga ebyobugagga byo byebiba no mutima gwo jegubera let's be honest twagala tobeba amazima we may treasure up tusobola kweterekera ebintu many things on the earth bingi wano kunsi but at our, at our death na yengwe tufa we leave them all behind. Never to get them back. But 
But if we store up treasures ne, with our Father and Creator Jehovah, ne we to teleka ebi obugaga no yo yatuleta munsi ya kuwa katonda. Those treasures can never be taken away. Ebi tebi sobala kutujibu wako. Jehovah will repay us with In the very near future, Jehovah by means of his son will completely reverse death with the resurrection. Yes, when that time comes, all those in the memorial tombs will hear the voice of Jesus and will be raised from the grave. Imagine being there and you've got open arms to welcome June. Or any other one loved one that, that has died. You see, rather than crying tears of grief, we will be crying tears of real joy. It will be like when you haven't seen a relative for a long, long time. And you see them again. Those feelings of joy in your heart. Oftentimes we give way to tears of joy. That is the promise that the Bible holds out. So let us do our, our best in our life. To examine the way we live and put so that brings us to the end of this part uh, and uh, to conclude we're going to sing a song it's in uh,
Amazing. Within my heart, 
E carro.